start recording and we say hello everyone and welcome to Rodeo Regional number 31, the first Rodeo Regional TFH Weekly for 2022, the Lord, uh, the year of our Lord. Uh, you know, it's been quite a few years here in uh, 2020 and onwards, but you know, we're making it through and we're also getting some wonderful net play tournaments such as, but not limited to, since everything's getting rolled back nowadays, freaking awesome, Rodeo Regional. So with me today on commentary, we have a few people being going to be rotating on and off, myself included. We have K9. How's it going, K9? How's it going, pups? It's a K9. You already know who I am. I'd be here every single day, even when there's not a tournament. That's how you no know way. I'm real. K9 is actually just the shrine. She's actually. always there. <laughs> exactly, oh, dude. You could play me anytime. Oh shit! Money matching right now. <laughs> Big bet. I'm, I'm uh, Asiago. How's it going? It's going how you doing pretty right? good. It's going good. Nice. What's up, gamers? What's up? Dude, it has been too long since the last TFH Rodeo Regional that I've been able to enter. It's been a while, you know? Mm -hmm. So, super glad to get out there to have a NA tournament, you know? NA? North NA. America? Are you telling <laughs> me we're open to all of North America now? What? We're open to Canada, U.S., and Mexico. And it's Brazil. And Zale. And Zale. <laughs> and Zell. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> that's totally what K9 said. We, we work with that. <laughs> All right, gamers. So as you will... Um, off shoot me concern. Sick. Okay, so everyone uh, who's not marked for stream, y'all can go ahead and play your matches until you run into something that is marked for stream. That's how this works. We like to get things going here. So speaking of getting things going, we're going to go ahead and get going with this first match featuring one of our lovely commentators and none other than the digital dog. Not an NFT of a dog, but a digital dog. Yes, yeah, a digital wow. dog. Dude, that Maybe picture right there looks like an NFT. Let's go. All right. <laughs> Loki, it does. Now. No. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, two Javas. Why are they not, like, one centered differently and it's actually bothering me so much? We're just next to each other instead of, like, being symmetrical. It's fucked up. <laughs> hey, yo, get me up. <laughs> yo. Also, this is pretty interesting. Round Digital one. Dog, traditionally Fight. known for his uh, shanty play, is going to be playing Tom here. Molly does mean shanty. His Tom also has a lot to bring to the table. Yeah, absolutely. Like, his Palm, I've been playing his Palm. It's actually very, very nice. Like, he definitely does the work that a lot of Palms don't really do. Like that, you know? No one, no Palm does that. <laughs> no Palm has ever done this in the history of TFH. Actually crazy. Oh, nice. Using that to cover the summon. And one thing to keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, is that you cannot get away with mashing against Spidey like nine times out of ten. He is... Yeah. Death. Spidey is like the most active player in this game. Like, that, that man has been there since the dawn of time. <laughs> Yo, I'm a bitey man. Oh, very nice sheep herding into the punish on the attempted punish on the sheep herding. Clean stuff from Dog there. Very much uh, well done. Yeah, a very, very good cleaned round from Dog. Starting off 2020 right. Round two. Oh my god, oh god y'all keep pinging the at them spite me first. They know they could start. Also, if y'all have trouble uh, finding anyone or like any kind of trouble with anything ever uh, that's at least tournament related, I, I won't help you with like your parents' divorce. Uh, just add <laughs> the organizers in mod help and we'll help get you situated because we want to keep y'all having a nice time here. That's why we keep it going nice and fast while still giving y'all some quality content. That's what it's all about. Absolutely. And Dog going for Mama Dog and Papa at the same time. This is something we don't see too often from Palms overall. And oh, that mix was absolutely devastating. Ooh. Going for the low? I very much like that. It uh, actually ended up counting counter hitting too. So he went for like the empty option and then like wait a little bit, got the counter hit and then got the full combo. Very nice. Yeah, very, very nice. Because the thing a lot of people do, they do like, once people land in front of them, they do sort of like a reactionary push block. And so you can definitely like jab them all the time. Like I do it to a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah, but you got to break, you guys. Got to anti-air. I don't want to anti-air though, K9. <laughs> and so air it's hard to play the game how I don't want to play. This is bullshit. <laughs> I anti air by super jumping Jason. <laughs> Dude, palm with, with super jump would be like 
Dude, no. The goofiest shit. Honestly, the worst part would be if she's super jump and then Bitey's on the ground. Like, where is Bitey? <laughs> you actually oh, no. couldn't see Bitey in the slightest. That would be so toxic. Ooh, nice anti-air from Asiago there. Not something you'll see too often from Paprika's in neutral because you can't get rid of a charge in this game, but you dash in forward, might as well go for it. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, Asiago. I don't think that was all that was the play right there. Like, once people are under an apple, you can actually just harass people with lows and just like be normals. Paprika's very insane with that. Ooh, nice blocks from that. Not entirely sure which side I would have had to block that, but either way, working on Asiago's favor again the combo. Kind of I think we're walking pretty tough situation. Yeah, I think this is that. Yeah, I would definitely cash Ooh. it out right here. It's over now. The one good thing about Paprika is, like, she definitely has a lot of damage. Like, she can mix you to death, and then when she needs to, she can definitely Round cash two. out hard. It's, I'm still getting used to the fact that all of Paprika's items are palletized, because it's just like, all the, like, almost all of the apples look rotten in some way or another now. But it's just kind of fitting, honestly. It's like, I mean, I'm fighting you, I'm not giving you fresh apples, that's for me. <laughs> True, and that, oh, that 10 frame bark. Still don't know why it's 10 frames, you know, it has a little bit of range. It is very negative, but like, it's very hard to react to. Yeah. Ooh, alright, keeping the pressure going. Are we gonna get the reset there? Oh! Might have caught him inputting something else there. Oh my god, the anti air bitey! Oh, no OTG with the 2A 2A, but gonna get the pressure going. Nice. I like how Dog's playing right here. Playing very patient, just staggering very slowly. Now has bitey on block, but getting counter hit. Now it's Aziako's time to play. Oh, very nice stuff here. I think Dog is gonna have one more chance at life here, but it is going to be against a Paprika without a Picnic Basket, actually. Yeah, Picnic Basket? I, I honestly agree with that. Honestly, for me, I usually uh, go into the corner as Paprika with my Super so that I can get like the full mix. Uh-oh. Counter hit Bitey, though. Ooh. Ooh, Dog that. did end up fixing that. Good job. Oh, no. Going for the 2-2-2-2 two, 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 two tech. Uh, and y'all may not know this, but there is actually no benefit to that whatsoever. So Dog is <laughs> very much just BMing his opponent. Good job, actually, Dog. <laughs> Dude, it's like every time I purple throw uh, Grunkle or any other like higher level player in BBCF as of late, they just go out of their way to make the rest of the game very hard. <laughs> like, oh no. <laughs> That's so disrespectful. Like, Dog right now running this match entirely. And I think that might be it. If he has the routing, he drops the combo, and Asiago has one more chance. He's making the most of it. Um, this is definitely the character to have one more chance with the Paprika with some of the most explosive damage in the game, especially when they hit the basket. Ooh. Oh, I Are think that's def super. Oh, that's, oh my gosh. Let's go, Asiago. Yo, if y'all are pushing it, oh, I can pop back. off. Talk that shit, Asiago. Oh. Asiago just barely getting enough meter to super at the end and closing out that round, making it 1 1. That's some good shit. <laughs> Thanks, Carl. <laughs> Listen, listen, just because Paprika can win doesn't mean, you know, you know, just buffer a little bit more, you know, just see what happens. <laughs> you know, all kind of quirky. <laughs> People think Paprika's bad. People kind of do be thinking that, and I, I don't know, Asiago, me, and some others, like, definitely showing that she is definitely not bad in any sense. Just gotta learn how to play her. Do I have to be here? Definitely doesn't have quite the level of, uh, Round one. She has different kinds of gimmicks than uh, other characters. Some of them require a bit more, like, traditional kind of fighting game stuff. Like, um, uh, a lot of it's honestly just, like, um, well, what's it called? Creature containment. <laughs> Creature containment, yeah, baby. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. Talk got through that. Got the 3C counter hit. No confirm, though. Fun Big fact, uh, on 3C counter hit, you can get, uh, I think you can always get a 3C JC off of that. Ooh, can you actually? Yeah, because um, 
I, I use that a lot when I'm using it as like a counter poke against someone at like long range. Mm -hmm. or longer range, you know, three season full screen, it's not long range. <laughs> <laughs> long range, full screen. <laughs> oh, I, I summoned the oh no. Oh. Damage I summoned the dang. Ooh, Digital nice. dog taunted last game, but I don't know if he's gonna live to regret it. He is not. Ooh, almost getting that command grad off, uh, but uh, Digital Dog making a comeback right here. Going for some risky frame traps, and that's gonna cost them. Yeah. Might be it here, but I see has the rounding. Definitely does. Gets the flop into super combo, and maybe we'll see a bit of 2-2-2-2 two, 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 two action. Oh, nah, yeah, no, no. see the end. Yeah, the game just stopped. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Let's, let's go, go, Ozzy. Let's Otto. go. Very good match on you and Dog. That was, I kind of robbed him on that RNG on the basket. <laughs> that was kind of funny. That was kind of funny. I'm not going to lie. It be what it be. It be what it be. All the right, Frieza. Pop right, gaming up, right there. Next up, we got Jeff and Sven, actually. Ooh. Let's go. Yeah. Jeff is the person like we have no. I have. The, is this their first ro rodeo regional? I'm not actually sure. I think it might be. I think they might have entered the beta. I think they entered the beta. Yeah. Uh, but Sven's yeah. been around for a little bit. Sven's yeah, been Sven. on the up and up for sure. Sven is no stranger to this game, nor to rodeo regional. Helping out with commentating, helping out with organization. Like he's definitely on up and up in many ways. Just all around. Do you know how? Uh... The people in Twitch chat can help out with this tournament right now. How can they, Java Morris? They can Fans hop on over to today. this little command we have in Twitch chat called exclamation point Macherino. Go ahead and oh. click on that link and add 30 cents to the pot for free or even more. We have like tons of those free money buttons on the side this time around because, you know, sometimes y'all like sponsor quests, all sorts of fun stuff. Definitely go check that out. Help support the players because every single penny goes to the top three of this tournament. So if you want to see more of this free? action, for free. All for it takes free? is like, uh, I don't know, like 20 seconds? If y'all ain't got 20 seconds, like, you need to go touch grass for 20 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> touch grass for 20 seconds. <laughs> they ain't got that type of time, but jo oh, Jeff definitely has that type of time. Goes for some hard knockdowns. Very interesting. Okay, with the air low. Oh, yeah. That's the high low, the R low. The, the air low. <laughs> oh, nice the match out buttons. The classic, baby. The TF8 special right there. Hmm. That was a weird, alright? Oh, Definitely was. Spend getting all this damage. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I was about to say, I don't think he's gonna cash out too much. So, like, that's very good for him. Save all your meter, but Joe! Ooh, I'm not red this round. <laughs> not Joe, Jeff! I don't know why I keep saying, like, Joe Samo. <laughs> Jeff Smog. Looking very clean. Round two. Oh my god, is that Jeff the kill? <laughs> is that the creepy pasta person? Oh, that's a creepy pasta oh. cross up right there. <laughs> Right there is damn right. Going for super? Aw, oh, missing a TK right there. It's fine. Oh my Ooh. god, that is negative as hell. I do see. Oh, can't mash out buttons right there. Joe is just on. <laughs> Jeff is actually on the move. Who's <laughs> Joe? <laughs> Joe, mom. I was about to say, I would definitely go for Fred right here. You need to take back control, and you actually have a meter on the board, so you're you're fine. Oh, no. Oh, no. Getting frame trapped by the Cutlass C super right there. I think one of the things Sven should have done in that situation, like, use 1D, because in that situation, you, you don't mess around with that frame trap, okay? <laughs> that frame trap is crazy. But here we go, Jeff taking round one, or game one, excuse me. God, see, it's been like forever since I actually like seen the TFH tournament, it feels not gonna lie.
Haven't seen the TFH tournament since uh, last year. Look, right, a female no, it's been a whole demon. Year? It has been a whole oh, year. Sit up after See me, you on next year. <laughs> Round one. <laughs> XD. XD. Oh, nice one. Yeah. Oh, you actually get a punch. That's a missed opportunity. Oh, nice. Oh. Yeah, these two players definitely play a little scrambly right now. A little scared of the bacon, but Sven. Yeah, some nerves, but on the surface, Ben is regathering some things. Yo, yeah, what's up? How's it going? <laughs> Trolling. <laughs> Very nice stuff from Sven right there. Getting a cross up. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, cross up. Okay. Oh my God. Bang. I was about to say, get a chip. Oh, yeah. That That's all you need. Crazy that that definitely would have been way. getting that Cutlass C, because Cutlass C is a big starter. That does Round big damage. Two. Fight. Both players. Sven is just trying to get out of range and nice frame trap right there. Getting something started. He has a round on the board, so we can definitely make a comeback if need be. And Fred is coming on the way. Very nice stuff right here. Going for the three C uh A. This definitely is Fred. Yeah. Now what I would do is spend, I would definitely just like use Fred to control the map. Like don't, oh, nice. well, you know, 60, I guess that works as well. pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty good. Like I honestly thought like uh, Jeff was definitely going to do like a cut list here. Like, some type I thought of he was just going to super out of some pretty quick. <laughs> like, I thought that was his only chance out there. Mm. Do some crazy reversal. Well, we see Jeff. Is this one? Yeah, I believe it is one. It is one. game three. Yeah, game three. Exciting stuff. Very exciting stuff. Oleander versus Shanty, a matchup you don't get to see actually too much because there's not too many Shanties in the world, what which is funny. This matchup. You played it think, from both sides. Yeah, I definitely played it from both sides. I think this matchup is actually low key a little bit Shanty favored because like if you actually control um I don't know, Shanty kind of controls like Oleander's magic very much and forces her to play very like close up, which Oleander isn't necessarily the best at. She has like good frame shafts and everything like that, but like playing up close is not her strong suit at all. She wants to get that space, she wants to get magic and get her uh train going. Right. Ooh, nice. Calling out the wow. Yeah. Just like right here. This spot is so hard for Oleander to get out of unless you like tech roll button. <laughs> <laughs> tech roll button's pretty good, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good. Oh that's yeah, nice, man. Nice. Don't know about the routing. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 So even if you didn't, like, Shanti just does so much damage to where, like, you can just create your own combo and it will kill. This stance piece, though. Stance B, gotta go. Wow! Oh, getting hit with the 2B. That's a hard situation to be in. Like, blocking, you do not want to block uh, Shanti's air normals at all because, like, yeah. they're super plus and they just lead into fuzzy situation, high low. It's crazy. Yeah, it's awful for half the end. I guess I really know about that. You just have, you just have to try to block and hope for that. Oh, yeah. nice. Ball stuff. Ball stuff. Let's go. JC. Oh. JC, the strongest counter hit of them all. It's gonna be super. Oh nope, just magic. Oh. Oh. It should be death. Yeah, that's death. Oh, oh it's it's over. whoa. You know, it's death either way. Asia. Play I know you've got it. <laughs> Jeff is definitely a killer right here. Getting the creepy pasta two one. <laughs> the creepy pasta. Power. Very good show. I think that's the first time I commentated Jeff. Let me correct myself. I'm definitely. I remember. I recall Jeff being in the other one. So yeah, second time in tournament. In our tournament, anyway. Now we've got Maya versus False. Velvet versus Pat. This is a fun one. This is a fun one. 
Yeah, this is definitely fun. Like, I definitely uh, explore this matchup a lot and play it, like, very nice. I like to see uh, other Paprikas, how they take this matchup, because, like, I think Paprika kind of, like, when Velvet has no magic, she kind of dictates the pace a little bit. Yeah, definitely over time, I think I think that this matchup is, like, becoming one of the most fun ones in the game. For me. It's just, like, yeah. I don't know. I've, got, I've definitely grown an appreciation for fighting through the zone. It's hard, but you know. Yeah. Cap can definitely get through it and just... Once she, once she gets a hit in, it's just like, really tough. Ooh, the shatter seeds. Absolutely, like... Oh, no whip punish. Ooh, very, very nice. Oh. Might, uh, might is just like going for these small combos, just like not worrying about too much. Doesn't want Paprika to get too much meter, and uh, that's the game. If she wants to catch out with Super. Oh, which he did. Drops it. Dude, Velvet, when Pat doesn't get a hit in and she's zoning, Pat just yeah. builds so little meter. Like, False doesn't even have a bar here. Yeah, absolutely. Like, that's why you really have to, tough. like, get in. You have to be, like, very, very uh, potent with your uh, dash blocks and everything like that. Yeah, which is tough. Pat is, like, got a really short dash, right? So, yeah. You gotta, you gotta make the most of what you got. Nice. I oh, like that. Friend. It's one thing I don't see a lot of Paprikas actually doing too much, is uh, using Teleport A as a little mix. Love to see it. Oh, oh the call out. Oh, this is probably death. Yeah, this is definitely death. Yeah. Cash out with that TK. Oh, he drops oh. the TK. It's fine, you oh, get the mix. Oh, the pack roll. One good thing about Paprika JC, oh my god, it's so meaty. It's actually very, very good for catching a uh, tech roll, soft knockdown stuff. Alright, that shit got nice. Frame trap, frame trap. Yeah, that's hard. False loves that uh, high gift situation. Uh, it's actually very nice. It's pretty good. I was a bit of a doubter when he first came up with it, but he's definitely proven me wrong. Oh sure. uh, yeah. no. That that is questionable be damage. Yeah, that was very questionable. Yeah, Miter's just gonna super. Luckily, the Broccoli is actually not under uh, Falls, so like, Mida can't do too much. Yeah. Dude, Mr. Loki, Shiro. when a gift, when a gift is under Paprika, like, it's actually it's so bad. It's pretty bad. They can just up back for free. Half yeah. is really effective, I guess. Uh -huh. It's so, so bad. <laughs> Paprika wins. Well played to Falls, though. Making yeah. the pressure and getting the hit in. It's all like one good hit's all you need, you know? Absolutely, Paprika does that damage, and like the good thing about Paprika is like even in max, like even like if you cash out fully, she still gets a mix because of her level one being a hard knockdown. It's very nice. Yeah, absolutely. Dude, oh. win the winner of this has to fight the winner of me and Java. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Scary. I think we will actually go ahead and stream our match just to make it easier. On oh, the, okay. Uh, yeah, like that makes sense. Things. That yeah. makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Does it though? <laughs> Live commentary between the two of us talking. <laughs> Yo, check this shit out. <laughs> Yo, what's the mix? What's the mix? <laughs> what's the mix? <laughs> All right. Hopping back into things. Mida with the velvet and Falscott Round with the paprika. Round one. Oh, you're just getting hit by five. <laughs> Got a dash block, little gamer. Yeah, if you are not like touching grass with velvet, you better dash block. Perhaps like slow dash means that like a lot of times velvet can just get away with doing two of the same direction. And it's, mm -hmm. just, it's hard to get off of it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Oh, the Pally C. The funny. Perfect. Very interesting stuff. Oh, oh God. it's He's too funny. <laughs> the funny man. No, he's being very, oh, very this patient. Is, this right is here. really hard for Velvet, though. Yeah, absolutely. Has to like show us no. Fun. Oh, good, good ice cream call. Ooh, cross scanner. Oh, push blocking car A is like the freest two A of Paprika's life. Yeah, that's not. How can you even run up command grab? It's like a free mix right there. Yeah, absolutely. One thing you just do not want to do. 
nice. Fall, I love the way False is playing right now, playing very, very patient. And that's one thing I like seeing a lot, is like, I love seeing the movement away from the icicles, because like, as for Freaky, you can actually kind of avoid some icicles, as any character, to be honest. But like, you can very much avoid icicles, like if you just move around them. The frostbite throw. Nice, the 50-50. <laughs> <laughs> the 50 <laughs> Box, good DP, the trade, the trade. Oh, that's oh, nice. Fortunate. QC is so cute this match. I think it's like it calls out so much from Melba. And this is probably the best of balls. Yeah, that's that. That's big, big dev. Ooh, well played balls. Yeah, oh, very, very nice stuff. Showing some good Paprika versus Velvet matchup. Like, that's, that's good. Mm. I really, really do like what Falls does with the setups. Like, I don't think a majority of them are too strong, but the thing is, is like they keep them safe. So, you know, you can't I complain think, too much. I think what's good is that uh, False plays them really fast. It's like yeah. easy to get over, and Path in general, just is if you play like that, like at that speed, it's really like overwhelming and yeah. like, challenging for the defender to handle. Like, Honestly, you might just like. Doing, like the cart sees so much would probably have hit me. I hate cart sees so much. It's, so it's a good move. Right? It's very fast. If like Paprika's like do that shit, you have to absolute guard absolutely. Like, yeah. <laughs> but, like doing it in neutral though, which is like stupid but not stupid. It's such you know? a it's such a long range button. It's interesting. It's yeah, like definitely. it's two C and then some, you know. I mean, one of us is getting hurt in this situation. <laughs> <laughs> And Real this quick path does so much damage. If one of you is getting hurt, it's like it's not not a bad trade for it's for Marissa reward perspective. It's not bad for Pat, you know. Yeah, absolutely. she definitely because <laughs> because kind of like suffers from that sometimes. Like <laughs> she benefits from maybe not the best decision making all times, but at the end of the day, she's still like she can be played in a few different ways that are all pretty effective. So yeah. yeah. I like this so, Real Character quick, before we hop into this next match, which is going to be me versus Asiago, I want to give a quick shout out to the people blowing up the match arena. As you can see at the bottom of the screen, we're already at $76.88. Woo! Thanks to a bunch of direct contributions, as well as every single person clicking on that coupon and using this little quest on the side. Pretty much appreciate it. So, Dash Knocker, thanks for the $27.73. That's a Corgi. Don't know who, they got, who that could be. With oh, the no. bucks direct. Joppa Morris with already having 20 bucks in there, and Salient Blue with the $5. Thank you very much, gamers. Thank you, guys. Keeping the support going for this game. That's what I like to see. You know what? Uh, we may be gone for, like, long periods of time sometimes, you know, winter break and everything like that, but you come back with the donations and keeping us warm for the winter. <laughs> We're going to tie if we don't get to the donations, please. <laughs> please. But, um, Kana, do you have the um, website and all that pulled up? I do, in fact. So you don't even need to worry, little gamer. Awesome, awesome. Little gamer? Uh, little gay. <laughs> oh! Game? Little okay. game. Let me set this up real quick. Yeah. Jeff Morris, I'll see you. I'll go. Gotcha. Yeah. Alright. GL, you look at a fun gamer. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> All right, Java Morris back to Rodeo Regional after a quick placement, but uh, went to CEO for like a little bit. You know, life be hard at CEO, but it don't matter because Rodeo Regional is where you want to go. <laughs> Netflix tournament, that's where you want to go, baby. No. <laughs> All right. How's y'all going, Pav, Paprika on... <laughs> the right side java on shanty and nice we get to see some very good 5b placement this is what i like to see from paprika just actually spacing out your normals playing very very clean oh the apple was actually there java tried to do some funny shenanigans with a soft knockdown rolling out of the corner and pressing a i'm guessing but ooh, the apple Nice, Java finally getting some pressure started, and this is where Shanty shines. She gets hit, she hits you on your block, and like that's over. Like she just controls so much of the pace right there. And Asiago just ah, uh, getting unfortunate short hop. You hate to see it, and that's gonna be big damage. Oh! 
God, I love, dude, Shanty, like, when she hits your block with, like, any air normal, it's just so scary to deal with. And now Asiago's dead because of it, like, God, dude. Shanty having, like, some of the best air normals in the game is actually crazy. Like, this goat is over tune. Round two. Fight. Ooh, very nice 5 right there. Going for a setup. Nice. I like the putted plant setup right there. Like, it definitely, like, scales, like, uh, your combo a lot. But, like, it's definitely one of the safer setups. Nice. Paprika just playing at this 5B range. Just using that sword normal and actually just keeping Java out. Ooh, very nice slide 2B from Java right there. Leading Asiago into the corner. Gonna keep that control. Missing the 3C right there. Going for a A setup. Going for super? No, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keeping your meter. Oh. And Asiago. Dude. <laughs> this is why This is why I don't mess with the sock knockdown stuff. Okay. If, if, if this is me, I'm blocking 100% of the time. Like, sock knockdown. Rolling out of the corner is very, very good. But me, I'm just blocking, okay? I ain't dealing with no RNG. I, ain't, I, I hate RPS. I just want to block through shit and just mash out. That's me. But stop talking about me. Java Moore is taking the game one, talking shit to Asiago, saying, yeah, I did that shit. And hey, hey me, putting one score on the board because I'm not stupid. Shout is the name. Thunder is my game. <laughs> All right, taking it to Paprika stage this time. Game two, let's get it. Ooh, very nice. And I love the pressure Asiago is doing right now. Very good staggers. Just using the sword normals. Just poking in and out. Good job, Amoris, with the fuzzies. Gotta deal with it somehow. The best way to deal with the fuzzies in that situation is just absolute guard as Paprika. If you don't have an anti-air that isn't like a... Well, if you have a normal anti-air, you can anti-air it. But like, if you're Paprika, you gotta hold that shit in absolute guard until they like get far, far away. <laughs> Oh, the fuzzies again. It's just so difficult to deal with. Nice. Cross counter to get out of there. Throwing down the apple. Ooh, very, very nice. Oh, the counter hit potted plant. That's a very good starter. If you get counter hit by a, a gift, or if you get hit by a gift in general, like, that's very, very <laughs> insane. And I'm just gonna ignore that flop. That flop was interesting as fuck. It's fair game. <laughs> that, that was a different type of interesting. Fight. Uh, missing the 5B right there. Just a little late on the round start. Nice, Jabba Morris is in full control right here. Never mind. Actually, never mind. I forgot cross counter exists. Both players is cross cannering their way to victory. The way TFH is meant to be played. Cross canner never get nerfed because I love seeing this type of gameplay. <laughs> Ooh, nice reversal super from Asiago. If you actually paprika super in the corner, you actually get a reversal and very nice mix right there. Jumpamore is taking a lot of damage going corner to corner. See the shining sea. Ooh, I would have grabbed right there. Oh no! You're dead! And Java Moore. I'm sorry for that one. Java really Moore to me. Really went for it. He goes for it all the time. Like, I, I should have killed you. Java Moore. Dude, literally, I like couldn't. I didn't go for it in my set versus K9 until like game 40 because she expects it that much. <laughs> Yeah. I am not the master of the shanty rock paper scissors cutlass super. It is always losing it. Very funny. It's it's pretty amusing. But yeah, I uh, <laughs> it was an experience using uh game mechanics there, like a CC. Oh yeah, definitely. And, uh... <laughs> there was some 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 green flashing cross gamers going on. <laughs> Yeah, oh absolutely. The CC into the CC, dude, that's my favorite TFH Java, combo. Java spent too much time playing Blaze Blue and has come back and is, he's got these system mechanics. He's armed. <laughs> he's got these system <laughs> mechanics, bro. 
<laughs> oh wait, you're telling me they can't get out of this? Hold up. <laughs> Hold up. Holy shit, dude. Something right. That was pretty fun though. Good shit. Yeah, GG's. Good luck uh, on False God. So, what's happening next? Dude, Am actually I... the pap bracket right now. Wow. Dude, it's always the pap bracket. <laughs> so I think, um, do you have a match ready? Yeah, right I'm now? up against Sven. Okay, so what you can do is play that... Wait, where is this? That's at the very bottom of the Oh, I see. dude, I'm like actually staring directly at your name and I'm not reading it. Okay, so we'll let you play your match and then I'll stream um, the classic Amron versus Zale in the meantime. How about that? Yeah, that sounds good. All right. That's very nice. See you, gamers. See you in a bit. Gamer moment. Big gamer moment. People talking about my voice. Fuck you guys. Sorry, I can't have Dude. peak performance voice all the fucking time. <laughs> Wait, what? I thought you were just... I, I looked in the chat when, like, there was a really stupid, like, pap interaction that happened. <laughs> yeah, and I just flux. saw, like, a bunch of people saying, like, why did K9 call me Flux? Like... <laughs> Wait, what? I didn't say that shit. Hold up, hold up. We gotta Wait, rewind that back. Maybe I'm tripping. Ba -ba 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 -ba, paprika flop, belly flop, fair and balanced. <laughs> Fred Flux. <laughs> Flux? Fucking Fred Flintstone looking ass. Um. <laughs> uh, so thank you, Dash Knocker, for telling me to update the score. Like that 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 truly means a lot. <laughs> what? That's not good. Uh, appreciated me realizing that I didn't update the score until after that round was over. So I just wanted to say thank you. Can you y'all better see two eyes open? Canines out here. <laughs> we out here, but right now two Oleanders are out here. Two of the best Oleanders, in fact. Ooh, very nice desync. Huh? Do we actually? Oh no! Oh no! Damn. Amaron, Damn, you... dude, he said no. Y'all ever no, lose an interaction back. so hard that uh? DQ. <laughs> DQ, DQ, no. DQ, DQ. <laughs> something. I'm guessing something was definitely up with like I don't know the FPS or something like that. I don't know what. Something was definitely up. We're gonna get that sorted out. <laughs> yeah, freaking frame trapped in all F4. That's legitimately what happened to Amron. Legit tried to no cancel the like most negative button, got hit, and he's like, no. <laughs> no more. Alright, Amron has one minute before we shoot him on live television. Amron, what's up, buddy? Well yeah, he uh just recently got a new monitor and I think he just hasn't configure TFH to exactly work with it because it's like you know it has it, it's it's a monitor and like you know you have to like look at it and it's like oh geez oh geez Rick <laughs> oh my god Rick also in the meantime for those of y'all that aren't aware we actually do have a channel in the discord called hashtag stream clips should be available to everybody as far as I can tell um and if you ever see something cool in the stream, you want to just, you know, clip it, toss it in there, or go ahead, throw it on Twitter. And I mean, even it's a, if it's of yourself, you know, it's still going to go on the Twitter probably. As long as it's not like something like actually boring. If it's really cool or really stupid, like either direction, as long as it's not in the middle. Just like some extreme of the entertainment spectrum. Perfect. Mm -hmm. That's what Absolutely we're perfect. YouTube like... litty content reactions. Yeah, like, don't be, like, showing us, like, you hitting Paprika 5B and popping off because you, like, dropped the combo right after. Like, we don't want to see that shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. But if you hit a CC and then they CC you back... That's it. Clip that's it. the one. Clip it and shit. <laughs> see that shit in Grand Finals? Like, woo! <laughs> woo! <laughs> All right. Let's see if Amron... Dude, I love how it looks like Amron's pogging at just Pomphy. <laughs> Dude, Amron just loves Pompey so much. I'm yeah. such a character. Every time I say, like, hey, Amron, what's your favorite word? He'll say, like, Pompey. Definitely. There's, uh, there's no one else like that that I'm aware of, at least. Yeah, absolutely. See, that's why Amron restarted, because he wanted to get that first hit JC. And look, everything's different. <laughs> I feel like Amron 
actually has not adjusted to the FPS, but you know what? That is not okay. our fault. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ooh, okay. We skedaddle, skedoodle. Very, 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 very nice push block from Emron there, getting Zale just out of range to get the 5C punish. Yeah, absolutely. We're going some route that. I, I take credit for that route. I don't give a fuck what anyone says. <laughs> What's the route? The fucking JC, JC, 2 d Like that route? Kind of, kind of weak. Kind of Big sick, brain man. opener. Yeah. Oh, our first. That's our first CC of the tournament. Not the tournament. The oh fucking gosh. round. Oh no, don't CC again. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> you're so sexy. Oh, <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> Oh my CC God. into wave dash up smite. We are truly at the next level of TFA. <laughs> Dude, we are entering TFA. This is the fuck zone, bro. Never had a this chance. is actually the fuck zone. Oh my God. I can't. Like, <laughs> the meta was going so good. It was advancing so far. But then people was like, what if I CC though? And then everything just broke. <laughs> everything changed when the CC nation seat. C C C C to exist. C C to exist. Oh no, that two C. Very nice Ooh. corner combo from Amron here. Yeah, very nice pickup. Dropping combos. Very nice put down. Although the big thing we're gonna have to keep in mind with C C. Oh, went for something a bit too difficult there. Ends up getting the drop. Now it's gonna get fretted on. Yeah. That's ready for this. The good thing about like these two people's friends is like uh. Their friends are like, it's not the most scariest, I will say, because like, they definitely rely on like, um, interesting friend setups and like the opponents are sort of mess up more than like actual RPS, you know what I'm saying? There's, there's definitely layers. <laughs> there, there is layers. There's very there's much layers. Of, of but, like, yeah, no. as you're seeing there, Amron is, as long as he's just kind of playing neutral there, Zale's gonna be staying off and, oh, nice 5A. But yeah, as you said there, like, when you have Fred out, you can actually just, lay, like, do 50-50s every five seconds. Every, like, yeah. three seconds, honestly. Absolutely. So, like, Fred should definitely be, like, your round finisher. Like, if you have Fred out, that round should basically be yours. Yeah. And although these two definitely are some of the most knowledgeable about, like, you know, Fred as being some of the premier Oleander players, also very, uh... Interesting freeze frame in there. I think he got hit on like the same frame that he was blocked, so he kind of just got stuck with all the stun. Hit mm. and block stun. Or stun. Oh, alright. Oh, wavu wavu. Oh, yep. that's a hard situation. <laughs> Extended her boxes, baby. That was actually like. Oh my gosh. Dude, the Emerald oh, is no. in a different realm. Dude, the Emron. <laughs> Emron's come to the dark side. Welcome, brother. <laughs> What the hell? hell? <laughs> yeah, he said too many <laughs> FPS brain hurt. I need like too many brain hurt. Can't, can't play defense, but CC. <laughs> but CC, please. Yeah, there yes. it is. <laughs> okay, no clap whatsoever. I mean, CC, like, it's a meme. It's very good, and there's a few ways to counterplay, but it's extremely specific and expensive relative to how easy it is to get. My claws um, is righteous. Do not get in my like way. A good, a good way you can no use CC. And we saw kind of the two layers of it. There is one. It takes a lot of time to do the entire thing to hit them, knock them down, them get back up. So if they have something like Fred or an install active, it'll burn a lot of that meter. So it's a very yeah. good use of CC there. But and then right after, Zale showed us that if you're looking for it on the offensive side, the person who's attacking, you can bait it. And wait, well. When you have something like 2-2-D or certain resources. I think yeah. essentially for most characters, you need either a super yes, or a hard callout that completely gives a pressure otherwise. Yeah, absolutely. I think the only person that like, quote unquote, benefits the most from like baiting out a CC is Velvet. You're a slow reader. Yeah, I'd say that actually. Mm -hmm. Just because like, so, so much of her stuff isn't tied to what she's doing in that exact moment. Yeah, exactly. Like, she has the access to the DP, and DP is Envol, and it's very, like, the, the most benefit thing, the most uh, thing that's uh, benefiting to CC for Velvet is, like, her DP is very, very slow, and CC is, like, mildly fast, so, like, it can, it can sort of work out. 
even if they don't intend to it, uh, for it to work out that way. But Amaron making this shit work out with his uh, bad PC. <laughs> oh, got the staggers. Oh no, not the mid. Uh -huh. Well, they very much uh, love how Amaron is spacing those mids, because that's what we saw there. Like. <laughs> that was a little meaty. I don't think. I, I can't remember if 6C is meaty or not. It's like pseudo meaty because like the first hit, the first couple of hits is kind of like, it's weird. It arcs in a weird way. Yeah, because the numbers are like deceptive. Because I don't think yeah. the front part is active for as long as you would think it is. Yeah. Ooh, nice. Tries to get the mash up. And I mean, one thing we'll see here is honestly just a lot of kind of educated guesses, as I'd like to call them, mm -hmm. um, in these block trings about whether or not they're good the next, you know, mid for the most part, or if they'll stop and do the no cancel. And seeing as Oleander is like a pretty, without magic, she is, doesn't have like too many crazy answers to her own pressure. You kind of just have to go with mash out, backdash mash out, or push block CC, just stuff that everyone has available. Yeah, absolutely. Amaron on the ropes right now. Ooh. Yes. CC. More. More CC. Oh, Amaron. Ooh. Put himself into the corner, but getting himself back out of that corner. Putting Zell back into the corner. I love to see it. Okay, this is off of a 2A. Emeron is not going to be able to kill, but he is going to be able to, like, one-touch sell on this next hit. Yeah, <laughs> to drop. Yo, get CC. Whoa! What? Wow. What? What even happened there? My cause is I'm guessing Zell might have went for, like, an up-back button or a fireball, but, like, he got hit out of it by uh, J.A. That was interesting. But Amaron tying it up. Tying it up or making it 1 1? I can't. Dude, my brain is actually so flat today. I think it's 1 1. Uh, it is 1 1, in fact. Uh, Zale definitely had the advantage there for most of the first round. But it's one thing that's interesting that has come up in the conversation for like how Only Ender works around CC, right? Is mm -hmm. um, CC is spends Only Ender's most important resource, which is super because it lets her get Fred, and Fred's a very strong. Uh, win condition for all the yeah, At least it can be. Um, but Amron seems like he was doing very well with simply Ready? just using CC and essentially foregoing the chance of ever having Fred. Yeah, like absolutely. Like if you depend on your fundamentals and like like save up your meter and everything like that. Like, well, I mean save up your meter. Amron wasting meter on CC, but like if you depend on your fundamentals and like waste CC, like there you go. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh. Tried to go for a fuzzy right there, but the JA way too high. Ooh, nice. Dude, what the fuck is happening? We're getting like air footsies in the weirdest way. <laughs> Yo, this is this is just Alco and Dan. This is Melty Blood. We're playing Melty Blood right now. It's a lie. <laughs> Very nice tech from Zale there, and I think both Zale and Amron went for the same option afterwards, and since Zale was plus one as a text in this game worked for crowds, mm. ended up getting that out there. Yeah, absolutely. Dude, this whole match has been like tech roll buttons, and it's like so interesting to see. Ooh, nice layering on what he did. Was that two traps in a row? No, I think that was just one trap, fireball trap. Oh, throw baited! That was sick. Very, very nice stuff. That's one thing Oleander uh, JB is good at. Like, you can just bash into people, rise in JB, and catch that, like, first frame of that uh, grab startup. Nice, nice. All right, reading. I like reading. Do you like reading? I like reading. I love reading. And I also love Fred, which hopefully we will see. I bet you like Fred. Ooh, you know what I like? Oh my god, Amron actually likes CC more than Fred. Amron, no. <laughs> Amron, no! No. You're going to the dark side of the force. Amron having to deal with Zell's Fred now because he said nah. 
Okay, so now that Zale has magic, he can bait CC, but it is still going to be call out. Because uh, if you commit to a normal, and I think even if you do the teleport on reaction, you have to, like, I think it has to be a call out either way, honestly, because of the uh, startup for teleport, except for yeah. maybe like 2-2-D. Yeah, 2-2-D is like, whatever. Oh, oh nice. Was that a late push block? It might have been an Amaron just getting frame trapped right there. All right, both players, the tournament, not the tournament life, but you know, losers, low key sucks ass, and you don't want to go there. Dude, can I get an F in chat for Amaron? He's fully guns on the dark side, of course. <laughs> he said, oh, no Fred, no. no nothing. He said, fucking sexy, brother. <laughs> no. I mean, as we're seeing here, like all it really took was Zale, you know, Zale took his turn, Amaron blocked, CC'd. Uh, Zale didn't have a resource to counterplay the CC, so he just gets hit. Um, and like, Amron there, Zale took his turn again, Amron CC'd, got him with the, uh, media on the SKD, and now he's dead, like... Okay, I mean... He's, he's very much playing optimally, that's, that's where things are, yeah. Yeah, absolutely, didn't even need Fred right there, just like... I think, uh, Zale, to be honest, was RPSing a little bit too much on Wake Up during, like, the last segment, but like, yeah. Yeah. And also, I think, um, okay, so just so everyone's aware, before I go into this conversation, just like, not, it's not gonna be too long of a conversation, just some comments. If someone 5As you, and they CC immediately, you get hit. You don't yes. return to neutral before the CC, like, hits you. Um, it only looks slow because it slows the game, the game down, similar to how Velvet's Ice, or, uh, Similar to how Arizona's dash I was about to works. say. <laughs> I, I had to think about that for like a second. It's like, wait. CC but, is something uh, like 10 frames, which is just, well, not counting the slowdown, which is just so fast. It's Yeah. yeah. Especially because it's like canceling block sun, so it's not even like 10 frames of yeah, the recovery. It's 10 frames as, as soon as you get hit. Yes. Like, wait, you can 5A no way... and then CC? What the fuck? Y'all, this game is rude. <laughs> flow. It's a little yeah. sussy. That's it's, a, a, it's a little interesting. Don't worry. CC like, is a pretty suspicious move. It'll be, one day it'll be changed. Let's hope for the best anyway. Oh, that's false, God. Dude, I, I would <laughs> look racist. I was looking at these paprikas. I was like, wait, why is Asiago on the shrine? That's no, false. The <laughs> they have a different yeah. hat. All right, I won my so... game against Sven, and then Mida, Mida cooked me. Dropped too much. So uh, I'm good uh, to uh, cast uh, all the rest Mida's of it. getting in the zone. It matters <laughs> then. I'll go ahead oh. and cast the rest of it. By playing the video game. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so Good luck, on. Java. Good luck, false. Let's go. Yeah. Pap gang. Pap gang, let's Pap go. Gang. Let's go. False guy definitely showing out this tournament. Like False guy oh, no, always it's... showing out. He's got yeah. some good pap. Absolutely, but it seems to me at least this like tournament particular like he's playing very very clean very very like slow and patient Which I Beats really kids. much fuck I'd with. Steal them. Yeah, I think false does a really good job at that and then he's he's still willing to make Round use of cops just Fight. Taking so, some crazy pop risks, you know, and like, yeah, it pays off for me. Absolutely oh, I missed oh. my hand grab time ago. Oh, it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. Doesn't matter. That's one thing I really like. Like, being in the corner as Paprika on offense is actually kind of good because, like, they can't push block you away. There's nowhere to go. Right, right. Yeah, they have to just kind of try to escape back dash around back now. Yeah, absolutely. So you get, like, the freest no cancels. That's why I kind of like uh, Supering in the corner, but uh, Java right now, keeping the corner pressure going, not messing with Sock Knockdown Ooh, at all. AC. Ooh, that reset. Air very, very nice air tech. So we're all talking about pop damage, but now shanty damage. Shanty damage is actually a problem. It's this guy gotta go. Gotta go. Damage gotta go. Damage gotta go, dude. I just want neutral, no damage. Yeah. Let's just play neutral fight. Oh, false god. Those five beats. Oh, <laughs> the cutlass C. That is a very, very good move right there. And it's, God damn it, it's definitely a way you can escape from hot gifts. Yeah, it, it definitely is a way. My name is Java going for the 3C A. Very oh, nice. nice. Ooh, gonna mash out? Okay, that oh, JC was kind of interesting. 
card C. Oh, he drops it. Oh, the CCs are coming out, baby. Java, I don't know what that Cutlass C was, but if that got blocked, you were literally dead. <laughs> The one thing right there might be um 2d that setup right there is actually like it, it, it's good but like it sucks if they push block it late because then like they just absolute guard it i've got to say java doing that helm breaker i was like that's going right on top of that Sentinel. what's he doing yeah oh the super oh, I think oh no five a yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure he could have canceled there oh what's the mix what's the mix jc walk oh very, very interesting stuff. Oh, he actually could have just blocked that out. Or actually, Command Grab would have actually caught that. I don't know what Jabba's doing right there, but like, he's definitely getting hurt for it. Oh, 5 eight? Oh, there oh, it is. Trade. The trade's better than getting hit. Definitely. Ooh, there we go. Nice to IB. Doesn't get it? Doesn't get it. Nice. Boss has all the control right now. Literally, this is Paprika's best. Like, especially against oh characters God, like Java. this. <laughs> Java has stance moved into a role so many times. Yeah, absolutely. He's playing a little awesome. silly. Playing a little silly? Yeah. But like, that positioning right there, when Paprika has the health lead, and literally, like, a rushdown character has to approach, that is, like, Paprika's best. Cause, like, her 5B literally is so controlling, it's scary. Pap zoning. Pap zoning, baby, Sword space! Yo, is that Bronco Barlow? Oh, uh, you that... can't see him on the stream, but... Good! He might, he might... Oh, there he is, there he is. Bronco killed TFH. Showing up. Installed TFH. <laughs> Grunkle literally entered my fucking PC, took away TFH from me. <laughs> um, Flo, Paprika can block after basket pop, like, immediately. She is never, like, really vulnerable, but yeah, you could lasso her if she does it in a stupid way. Mm. But she can block everything else. Very nice. Oh, missing oh, the combo the right there. Aw, uh, dang. Uh, J J B pressures just so much. It's actually stupid. Like as Paprika, you literally just have to absolute guard through it all. Yeah. The one thing oh, that sucks about a Charlie character doesn't matter. He's still got Ooh, very nice five A right here. Going for a setup. Nice. I like that. And this is what I like the best. Literally, you don't even have to go into like anything like too heavy, like a T-shirt right there. You can just keep going with your uh, normal pressure. Yeah, I gift under, gift under them when in the corner. It's crazy stuff. It's <laughs> over. Oh, buttons on the way down. Characters with like really fast J's, the rushdowns are just so challenging. They, you know, they are very challenging. In fact, nice. I like this. Ooh. Oh, the frame trap. Java's frame traps have been so good. Nice. Three C under? Oh, go for yeah. super. He does like this reset oh, a lot. A that was pretty fun. The push block? Oh no. Uh, oh, is that that? That might, that might be. I'm pretty sure that's that. That's 100% that. Oh, oh, never mind. Slightly miscalculating a little bit. False guy kept his cool though. I didn't like immediately try to super. Oh, but his high smoke too soon. He just the block. Get this cool. Get this cool. <laughs> Till he said no more cool. We chillin'. All right, one <laughs> one for each player. Java spelled his name wrong though. Java more Roris. Java more. Um, this is not a winner, it's some eyes. Is it? Let me actually uh, fix the Steam Deck. Uh, I don't have to open. I will do this real quick. It is Java on the right. Java Java's on the left. Excuse me? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Just spelled wrong. False God, and that is 1 1 right now. How do you feel about the Shanty Paprika matchup? 
Um, Who needs gifts? Shandy I'd plays are pretty good, them. but I think Pop just... Shandy can threaten really well with 2B, but mm -hmm. Pop's just got so much command on the ground, you know? Yeah, and absolutely. She doesn't really have much of a way to get in besides, like, doing some... Or you jump call out. And Pop can space really well around that, you know? Yeah, absolutely. From the Pop perspective, I definitely think it's, it's one of Pop's better matchups, I think. Yeah, definitely. Ooh, these those six, six A's. A's. That's, that's what I'm saying. Shanty has to, like, kind of go for those uh, jump-ins to get through Pop's just giant normals. And Pop can call them out, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Say or, like, back up and wait for... Shanty to get close to the ground and just go for her sword normals. See, look at that. Dude, just Paprika's dash is so good at dictating the pace of the match. Like, literally back dashing away, you have to chase it. Yeah, I'm also doing that. Oh, this is meaty. Very, very nice stuff from Jabba Morris. Getting a crumb of pussy. Oh, nice. Ah, yeah, uh, CC, baby. Side, yeah, that, yeah. Oh, nice 5A mash right there. Realizing it is not true. And I absolutely see what Falsa uh, means uh, with the uh, 2B uh, 6A stuff. He does it like, the way I do it is like, I kind of get a cart C in there to get like the most damage, but he does a uh, 2B uh, 6A to get like the most JD, you know? Yeah, and he like does it all, it's pretty cheap for magic wise. Like, mm. I like, and I'm, I'm kind of a believer in like doing pod plant because it puts you, it lets you get closer and they've got the falling pot on them. But yeah. being able to just do a cartwheel and get up close with like, if you get lucky and you get a pot, you can just like keep the pressure going for so long. Yeah, absolutely. And um, my match froze. Yeah, I was about to say, yeah. you seen this shit? Like, false got turned mm. off the router. Uh oh, router kick. Router kick. Uh, uh oh. Okay, are we... Looks like it's bizarre. I think they're still. <laughs> no, no, they're no, they out. They play footsies. <laughs> all right, this is just good ass footsies. All right, all right, all right. They got me going. Okay, they back into some shit. CC, dude, I always forget CC is a thing because I like never use it. I actually just depend on my defense, and it's like interesting. I mean, it's pretty good. You gotta use it sometimes, I think. Never. 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 I it's mean, the homie. Never CC. <laughs> Jeff Morris going for mix right here. Oh, and getting shut down by CC. By CC. Oh my god, just dumb damage, dude. One more time. Java takes the game. Dude, false god just wasting all these oh. CCs and oh, getting a the love. Right, well, Neutral stuff. I hope that connection stuff at the beginning the wasn't too bad, but it was still a play after. False guy? False guy? I don't know what's yeah, going, going on there. there. I don't know what's going on. I miss you. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, 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 okay. Um, now we're going into losers round four, correct? <laughs> False. That was a quick restart. That's what that was. Losers round four. Who's up next? Oh, we're in top six now. So it'll be. We're gonna probably Zay Almeida. Also, yeah, false. You're like, I very, very much like the direction you're taking your play. Yeah, absolutely. Like, it's very much evolved. Like, less silly shit, more actual control of like neutral and what Paprika is good at. I don't think false is ever going to. Why is he not over committing in neutral? neutral? Why is he not over committing in neutral? What am I supposed to do? <laughs> what am I supposed to? Like, legit, if you don't overcommit and if you don't like go hard into like the t-shirt like routing or whatever like that, like you're so fine. Literally just like forcing everybody to approach you, except for like Velvet and Oleander, of course. But like those matchups, you got 5B. The big button, the call out, the 2C. The call out. All right. Let me All get right. these. You setting it up? Uh, yeah. Okay, gotcha, because so I was about to do it. To business. Fine, we fight. Zale Maida Maida that is that false god. No, oh, I, I knew it. No, 
I'm Five. calling La Police. La Police. So I know Zale actually like likes this matchup more than most of the characters do. But I think it's pretty challenging for Oli in general. I think like, it kind of is. Like. I think the one thing is <laughs> very nice for a Mido, but like uh, I think the one thing that like is I don't know hard or like easier for only in this matchup is like um oh no I don't actually know oh, I'm just gonna see how Zell approaches this. Ouch. Oh that was uh, oh the sixty. That's why Zell likes this matchup. That's why Zell likes this matchup, because mm -hmm. he gets the 6 <laughs> Die. This No bubble main can no, block 6 Doesn't he go for the meter? No, it doesn't need to. Oh, I don't have the time or crayons to teach you Yeah, in that situation, it's, it's, it's a little bit hard, because, like... There's definitely options you can do, especially with your magic, like 5D to uh, waste the fireballs and everything like that, but, like, you're still wasting magic, and it's still, like, kind of playing from the back burner, you know? Yeah, and this is this is not good for Olander, is when your full screen belt is just like free to do whatever and stop you from reading. Yeah, absolutely. Zill's getting some reads in though. That's good. Though. Yeah, I think Midas focusing too much on oh, 5D no. and the cross up launcher. Oh, yeah, that was a big misinput. Yeah. Oh, now it's Fred time. Right, it is Fred time, and you know what Fred does. Uh, hey. Oh, that was sick. What Fred do? Fred, uh, Freddy boy. Kind of sick. Yo, we got set up? Oh, oh. Yeah, so I see you. You starting to do some things with oh, uh, Fred? That's pretty crazy. Zale taking game one and like, Fine. dude, I think the hardest thing about um, facing Oleander is that like, um, if you lose game one and like, you like go to like, I don't know, game three or whatever like that, you're facing Fred. So like, you have to play so clean. Yeah, and it, I think, at least against Pop, I think Velvet's probably the same way. Oleander's just almost always gonna have a Fred in round two and almost always gonna have a Fred in round three, you know? So our win yeah. is really built around just being able to take the prior two rounds. So round one is like super free if she doesn't spend Fred in that round. Yeah, absolutely. Like, dude, it's it, it's super hard to like play round three and like have Fred on deck. Yeah. Like that is very, very difficult. But Zell right here, getting some good frame traps right here, going for hard knockdown, he loves those. He doesn't love those hard knockdown. DP, that's good. Velvet built magic really fast. Absolutely. Well, now she has magic. <laughs> but yeah, she definitely does. Like, when you hit her, it does slow a little bit, but like, even then, it does kind of build a little bit fast. Yeah. I like how Mida always tends, seems to get a DP off, like, very early when I don't expect Velvet to already have it, you know? Yeah, it's, yeah, that's It's right. really strong. That is very, very true. And Mida, good, good there we go. Lead. Oh, using those 1Ds. 1D is a thing you really much want to do in this matchup. Zell got the read? Yeah. Oh, didn't get anything off the teleport. Tries to go for it. Yeah. Ooh, okay, getting some zoning. Oh, that's TC. Good TC. Good TC. Very, very good TC. I like the new approach to zoning she's doing in this matchup. Like, it's very, very clean. Except, well, <laughs> that part. Well, yeah. <laughs> that was a bit rough. Yeah, 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 it happened. Might have didn't, didn't press throw there. I think I would have gone to I would have gotten counter hit. <laughs> Ooh, deep Hello, deep cross cannon. Cannon. Talking about cross canner. Velvet is definitely a character that can abuse cross canner. A little bit too much. That meter. Meter economy, baby. Oh no! Oh, that's an unfortunate trap. And not Fred. Yeah, not Fred. Not yet. Save him, Fred. Oh, oh, that pays off. 
And now Zero, saving Fred paid off, so gets to have it this round. Very yeah, this is round. this is very scary for Milo right here. She has to play so clean. Like Kirk right here, being very, very patient. Just, yeah, keep Zell locked down at this position. Like, literally, Zell has to approach you. Oh, oh nice. super. I would honestly bring the main with a 5D, but you know, zoning, whatever, get the chip damage. Oh. A teleport you don't see too often. Like, most of the landers would just always teleport behind. But, like, Zale right there, teleport A, got it. Yeah, it was fine. But Mine is burning that Fred time. It's the heck. I, I actually don't agree with that, because now Zale has access to. Well, I guess another Fred. But, yeah. Like, as soon as. Oh, no! What was that? That was, oh, I think uh, that was, I guess he thought he still had Fred. Oh, I think so. I think he tried the 2-2-D and then uh, 1-D with Fred, but like, that was a little rough. But it's all good. All diamonds are diamonds in the rough, you know what I'm saying? Diamonds in the rough. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. God, one thing I love seeing about Rodeo Regional, just the ping being so low. Them being so close to each other, having good internet. I know not everybody in the world has access to good internet, but you know, it's nice when you're able to play a very close match. Oh yeah, absolutely. I think it just makes the, the tournament much better in general. Like, makes life much better. Makes life much better. You don't have to worry about some crazy, some some 100, 200 ping PM hoes just suddenly mm. beat Ash teleporting behind you, you know? Yeah, I don't have to worry about that shit. Just full and wholesome TFA. Absolutely. Nice. Hey, no, we're gonna play this game locally. I know! It's gonna be crazy. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I know they probably won't record friendlies, but I'll be playing friendlies. You guys will be playing the tournament. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm playing enemy. I'm gonna be playing <laughs> enemies. Let's go. Excuse my smash language. Casuals. <laughs> Y'all some fucking casuals. Any casual gamers? Any casual DPs? Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Keeping up the no. zoning. I really, really like the lockdown Mida is going for right here. But I also think that she needs to like conserve Shatter A uh, Snowflake a little bit more because yeah. like Zale's kind of getting these have magic for the whole sequence there. And Zale was yeah. kind of relatively free. Because Snowflake's go just so good at like passing stuff up and Velvet's young. Yeah, absolutely. Velvet's like, like, 5D creates a lot of like frame traps and Velvet's pressure and keeps up like a hard zoning pattern. But like, the thing is, is like, you also have to keep around like at least one magic stock for like uh, these reads right here. Right. Luckily, Zell does not have Fred, so you know, this is. Yeah, you had to use a bar that last round. Good position. Nice. Mine is playing so patient right now, just not want to get opened up by anything. Zill had great spacing on that 5A though. That was mm -hmm. just able to capitalize on his range when he is when he does get the opportunity. Yeah, absolutely. 1D? Oh, a little oh, late no. on that. Luckily Zell can't oh, capitalize no. too much. Yeah, I couldn't capitalize too much without like wasting him super for no reason. Right, right. Yeah, because that's, that's not actually a good situation. It's Oleander Super and Velvet from full screen. Yeah, especially when you're getting zoned this hard, you know what I'm saying? Oh, got the teleporting. Oh, but Zale still doesn't have Fred. Yeah, it's fine. Working on Fred, though. One more hit in, oh, and no like, that's Fred. QB whiffs so fast. Yeah, it Oleander. does. Okay, luckily this is not Fred yet. But like, one more touch, that's a super, that's just death. That DP was actually so scary. <laughs> I'm done. Ooh. Well, Zale's got the life lead and time's actually kind of going. 
Oh, oh good smite. <laughs> Very good smite. Like, I definitely um appreciate the Shatter A on the chapter trap right there, but like, uh, Zale was definitely just ready for that. Yeah, definitely. So that's 2-1 Zale, right? Yeah, absolutely. Very good stuff from both players. That was a very, very good match. Midas definitely try, uh, trying out new approaches to like Velvet, like way more zoning. Like, cause normally she's more conservative and very like close to people, just playing very reactionary. But I really, really do like this approach to Velvet she's taking. And it's like very sort of new to her. Yeah, it's well. definitely a change in style. I'm more used to seeing like more zoning heavy Velvet style from players like uh, Recently, I fought like Siri and mm. Soul, and those they are definitely well, much nice more about Velvet. And Velvet's usually, scissors. and Mide is usually like tends to more strike throw and like close up DP baits. Yeah, but. absolutely. So like she's definitely like learning just about like how to get like these zoning patterns going and how to like navigate through like both zoning and just like um conserving things. But right now we got yeah. False Dog versus Digital Dog. Dog's still on the palm. God, run this I hate this matchup. <laughs> you hate I it? Do, I do not like fighting Palm at all. Dude, this is absolutely <laughs> fair. The only good thing about Palm is that she dies early. Like, everything else is kind of hell. <laughs> She's just, like, so fast, you know? Yeah. And, like, Palm with a dog out, you're just like, you're not allowed to, like, play the game and run style. That's what I want to do, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, nice sheep perfect. Like, the thing, the, the biggest thing about this matchup is, like, you have to absolutely capitalize on Palm summoning, and, like, and Palm's always gonna summon, a good Palm is always gonna get Bitey out, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, definitely. neutral, offense, defense, they'll get Bitey out. And that's and, what sucks about the match. And Palm is just pretty... <laughs> I guess that fair was, enough trade. That was, that was pretty funny. <laughs> Nice, I like these five Bs. Oh, good call on that. Boss kept, was able to, while he was on a gift, just five B down. Oh, but Dog got the hit. The dog's really been working on that Palm. Yeah, absolutely. Like, it's showing out right now. Palm gaming. Palm gaming. Almost making it the top eight right here. Nice 6 A. Again, with the 6 A. Aw, flopping this is bitey under you is definitely. Not sure that one's very uh, favored towards path. Yeah, nah. Oh, I'm missing a throw. Did you try to throw a tech roll, gamer? Throwing a tech roll in TFH? This is actually the scariest position for Paul. Oh. Oh, wow. Any That's character. <laughs> Ooh, Dude. keeping up these resets. Dog can't even get the bite to go from. I know. Oh, that five oh, was so immaculate. Just drops. Oh. Oh, the cartoon. The funny The big funny. The big funny. And this is going to be explosive. Both characters Final have round. almost full meter. Full meter for false. Oh. What was that? That was a card A and a flop. Well, yeah, I heard a flop. flop. <laughs> I don't know. Whiffing card A, I think your best bet is just like walking out for the best. Dude, wait, Palm had enough time to block there? That's actually insane. Did she recover? Like, Hello? Yeah, Dude, 2C is Super literally a really long time. <laughs> yeah, but like 2C is like the slowest move in existence. <laughs> well, not as slow as Cross or something. <laughs> nice. That's, uh, that's now, wild. Dog's got the lockdown. Man grab. Didn't do anything. Oh, just getting hit low. Trying to flop, I'm guessing? Yeah, but uh, I, I called it out. We've all played dog. It's all kind of clean though. Oh, wins. Yeah, absolutely. False God heard what we were saying about the good play, and he's just like, nah. Nah, okay. nah, nah. Gotta flop. <laughs> nah. Gotta flop. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta flop. Freak a hive mine. <laughs> so I know False God he he he's like me, he doesn't like the palm mash, so he might switch to Oleander. We'll see, we'll see. Is he? I could definitely I'm not sure it would be good, but I, I think that, that was some that is something that False God might do. I can definitely see it. I honestly think he should stick it out with Paprika because, like, when he I mean, was in control, so. yeah, when he wasn't in control, it was, like, very much, like, he, he was just in control, you know? Like, Dog couldn't do anything with the recess and everything like that. Like, Dog was just stumped. Just but, like... Stop. Yeah, he's sticking it out. <laughs> Funny he is. Let's go. Round one. Big ol' fun. Oh, oh, nice. And here, 2C. 
Oh, I love that. That's so dirty, dude. You know that gift? That was crazy. That was very interesting. Very. Oh no, but pop with the gift. Oh no, dog. Yeah. And he petals out. Oh, oh, that was an unfortunate shoot. Right? That wouldn't. You could have done a punish there. Yeah. Oh, now you on the gift. <laughs> Oh, nice. Please don't. Nice! Getting get low. Get low, get low. Nice! Just catching sure these command dashes. Sure. But... I think that is. Yeah. It's a good call. -out. Yeah, I think, like, False is just, like, literally taking the gamble that, like, Digital Dog just wants to be out of that situation entirely and just command grabbing all the time. Definitely something that palm players often will tend to do and just like bank it all in the game dash. You have to be thrown up and grab his call out. Mm. Ooh, oh, nice, nice 5 a. One thing I think Falls could do better there is like literally if you walk up to them and then tell it B, like they don't have a chance to like uh, block. Well, well, absolute guard the freaking uh, 5 D tell it B. Right. And like, yeah, I would be extended for squash box then. Yeah, you also get like the ability to go low or whatever like that, and you also get the ability to kill your opponent with this meter. Oh, never mind, no meter, okay. Commanding, yeah. Dude, False God, that was the PK. He's been going for it. He got it that time. Dude, that's actually like the sickest combo, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't never gonna do it, but it's sick. Dude, I would need to spend too much time doing execution on that. <laughs> yeah, actually. It is pretty sick, though. Java Morris, I cannot That's believe you did company. not update the Steam Deck. The, st no, the, 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 the Stream oh, Deck has been updated. Wait, Paul won that last one? Or yes, Pulse? he did. Yeah, one more. Okay. I Dude, updated Loki, it for you. Lucky I kind of want Paul to like, take the whole term just a little bit. Maybe. Dude, that would be funny. That would mean Paprika is getting no buffs 3.0. No! Yo. False, false. <laughs> got, false, got throw, throw. false throw. False throw. False throw. throw. Buff pass. <laughs> I, I honestly don't think that would be No, 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 no. I think, I mean, like... We'll maybe something on card. Maybe something on card. It would be kind of funny. It would be kind of funny. I think, wow. like... The best thing Paprika needs is system <laughs> mechanics, you know? I, mean, I think... definitely one of the best characters at playing on push block in this game. Mm -hmm. I think, like, something on cart A, like, I being cart A is just really strong, but I don't know. Maybe it should be strong. I think it definitely should be, like... Cart A is basically just a way to get in. It's more so like a confirm, you know what I'm saying? Than, like, a actual, like, pressure block swing. Yeah. Aw, oh, damn. Dog took a chance. Made a change. JC. Oh, that's in. them. I have a two that's here. That's if false has it. Oh, this Ooh. might be too high, yeah. Oh, it was too high of a flop. Oh, dog has a chance. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you, false. Oh my god, that's great. Was that actually it? Oh my god. That was it. After watching Paul Scott, <laughs> I will pick up Paprika. Go for Pap is Pap that was is supposed really to be Card A. Hello? That was That's what? Totally <laughs> dude, dude, that is a very different distinction right there. Yeah, it was that's it. False just kinda took some games. I don't even know how I charged that, yo. <laughs> Leniency in this Telly game see? gotta go. Dude, Telly's input with the forward charge is definitely. It's definitely something. I definitely hate it. Like when I I'm trying to like, hate it as well. I'm trying to four A, and the game is like, nah, you want to tell it A. I know what you want. Oh, you got game. crossed Whoa. up. It's time to run off the screen and get counted. <laughs> My favorite meal of the day. Right here, we are headed into top eight, if I'm not mistaken. We're in top four. We're in top four. Top four. Oh, yeah. buddy. Uh, I think we're actually. Um... Yeah, we do winners finals next. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're, absolutely. We're fight. CC abuser one against CC bake mix. So <laughs> this is gonna be some cross cannery happening. Dude, I, I don't know who changed Amron. our names, but <laughs> Java versus Amron. Amron, yeah. 
Him, but Emron is AFK right above the screen on the screen. Java Morris. Java's pixel lobby characters, giving him the talk. So letting him know. Emron. Emron. There we go. We're fixing this shit for you since Java Morris is incapable of doing anything proficient. <laughs> you know, let's see if I can CC well. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> I just said uncapable, oh lord. Happy New Year, baby. Damn. You got one viewer, Java. How do you feel? Yo, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. I knew my mom would make it out. Dude, nah, that's Mo. <laughs> that's let's Mo. Go, Mo. <laughs> Mo's in chat. <laughs> oh my god. What is Emron trying to find right now? He's changing his hands. He's, he's probably going for world champion. Oh no, he's not. Oh, you lord. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, doesn't he have like a trophy he can put on his head? Hey, he does. He's like, the trophy's not good. I want to wear this funny hat instead. Wait, Kanan, did you say you updated the overlay? Yes, I did. Ooh. I don't These think channel points. Don't even overlay. worry. Overlay. All right. Which actually makes sense. Why I'm going to be pro earlier. Java Morris. Try reloading the page. Actually, that might help. Okay, one second. Well, actually, make sure you're um, set to use like my controller in like the sharing thing. I... Yeah, yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. Okay, awesome. gotcha, gotcha. All right, bye, gamers. Goodbye. Fancy Still ball. on the shanty. Wonder this is a shanty balls? Java bracket. Is this a Absolutely, Shanty versus Oleander, a matchup that is like, it's very interesting to see. It's hard on both ends. It's really hard on both ends, but Shanty does in fact have the advantage. Oh, no. That was very, very nice. And Emron, I think Emron low key, any chance he gets, he's literally gonna RPS on Wake Up because he does not want to deal with block streams. <laughs> That sounds right, that sounds right. I know Emron does not really like him. Or, yeah. honestly, Emron, I don't think he likes any character in this game. Besides <laughs> he loves facing Velvet. He loves Velvet. It's his favorite matchup of the day, dude. Nice, nice. DC. Oh, oh, nice swing. <laughs> that, was, that was a call. Damn. Shutting down Java's bullshit immediately. Oh, bro, you can do that, I guess. Interesting stuff. Interesting use of magic. Oh god, what do you do against Epilogue, Java? Yeah, this ah. is something... I know Shanty and struggles with Epilogue a bit. Compared to most of the rest of the Oh, oh wow. That was... I'm gonna need to talk to the ref on that one. Talk to the ref. That's what you get for freaking Cutlass seeing, you little goon. <laughs> Amaron pressing 2A to anti-air. That was quite interesting, I still say. Oh no, getting hit low. And now I have to deal with Shanty frame trap. Oh, Dang, this is Java is going for... Not super. Oh, good call on the tackle. Mm, and I think this is... Whoa, we have oh, definitely... Whoa, 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 whoa. Yo, yo. Java, you need a shot, low gamer. Kinda funny. I hope, yeah, I hope Emron freaking beats your ass. Java's not. Oh, I thought Java would go for a check there, but he didn't need to. He didn't need. To. He didn't need. He just needed two B nine active frames. That move is kind of nuts. Yeah, it, it's very very good. <laughs> Emron with these jump up smites and then push blocking. Push block. I didn't know about that push block. Emron's game is running faster than we can comprehend. Goes for that reset. Emron successful CC. Ooh! Oh, the 16! Oh my god, I'm dude. I'd have none. The animation got gold, dude. 
You got that one now. Oh! That was an interesting stance. Oh yeah, I get the intent, but like, that was very interesting yeah, place yeah. to do it. But Jabba Moore is blocking these six C's, doing a very, very good job on this defense. I don't think this kills, but... No. Yeah, so Jabba did survive the threat. Oh, that epilogue place. Oh, oh, nice throw. Well Just no match for me. He's a masher. He's a masher. Absolutely a masher, dude. That's all Amaron does. Nice. Amaron taking another game. Dude, I hate that Oleander epilogue placement. It's like, you have to kind of take a big risk and mic rock into it while Oleander is just running block on you. Block on yeah, you. absolutely. Like, one of the things I do, I just like kind of mash out with two A's and just like be like, you know what? You approach me because I ain't dealing with this shit. Like, <laughs> I'll keep yeah, a block it's too. It's very, it's very challenging. All right, this is winner's finals. This is uh, best of five, right? Thunder yes, absolutely. Red, look alive. Of course. Round one, fight. <laughs> oh, getting hit low right there, but you know what? I was <laughs> getting some reads, I don't know. <laughs> getting some reads, baby. <laughs> yeah, like trading a read for, you know, half your HP. That's fair enough. Ooh, oh, the high pro. Nice. And everyone just RPSing on wake up, just not want to do it. Kind of funny. Kind of funny. Big, big funny. Getting the creature containment ender. Java, everyone's favorite creature. <laughs> CC. Yeah, uh, CC oh. to everybody's favorite creature. <laughs> Go deep and hard for the that. Wave dash. Ooh, the wave pass so clean from Amaron, dude. Going for hard knockdown setups? Just trying to keep consistency, probably. Yo, he blocked that time. I was very well, like, I'm not surprised. Once you get like all Leander reaches a certain point during read to where she can just block immediately. Amaron probably not spending here. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Cutlass? Cut. Pay for your sin. Oh my god, these drops. <laughs> oh, the double jump. <laughs> Java was committed hitting 2A when Amaron was like a mile high above. <laughs> you know, Oleander, uh, a character with a double jump can avoid those. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Oleander can avoid those by double jumping? That's pretty crazy. Oh, yeah, nice I knew Amron was gonna go for something funny there, like a 6C or some sort of caliber. Java also knew. He was ready. Oh, Amron getting blown up for that. Oh, just a little late on the fuzzy right there. And this is probably Fred. Oh. No. It's a CC though, baby. Oh yeah, one thing uh two Chanty's 2B actually can't do, it can't beat uh Oleander's JB. Oh really? Like, it's, it's yeah. not tall enough? Yeah, no, it's like it's actually kinda short in size, but like in low profile is very much the pancake. Can beat all of that buttons. That's <laughs> yeah, it definitely Dude. can. Bro, I'm going to mod the game myself and remove this fucking mechanic. <laughs> oh, <my God>. No! <laughs> it's me, baby. Oh no. Oh no. It actually is the worst thing. Dude, it's very, very fun. See, 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 see me outside! outside. <laughs> Can't believe it. Alright, I'll be back to being salty. <laughs> it's okay to lose the CC. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I would it's never lose the CC. <laughs> Not okay. Unacceptable job. Wind's going up. in my favor today. Fred, look alive. Holy Ooh. lord, dude. Round it's definitely one. something that Oleander uh, can still like choose to CC regularly, even though she's got like the best meter win condition in the game. Yeah, absolutely. Nice. Oh, nice to be. 
definitely beats JC. Yeah, yeah, I definitely beats that. Nice, the fuzzy. But I don't know what happened there. Emron was just so content with mashing out that Java was just like not ready for it. Oh my god. Wake up 60. Gaming right there. They're playing in the dirt, dude. Yeah, Oleander's 2 should be so slow, you can just kind of meaty walk anyway. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, I think God. Java's trying to be a bit too funny you now. Oh yeah, Java would be a little bit too interesting, but getting counter hit right there because of the whiff, tried to press on it. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, everyone's trying to be a little funny. too funny. This is, oh my God, that hit. <laughs> no, he dies for it, no! Dude, uh, uh, Java, I was about to Yo, say, nice. if you lose this, you're crazy. I cringe. am actually not playing this game until they remove this mechanic. <laughs> what the fuck just happened on my stream? What happened is a good old I know Java is baby. Gaming. These two gamers are gaming very much. Trade. Nice throw. Very nice throw. Nice. This does like zero damage, so I'm fine with the hard knock down there. Uh oh, you can't deal with that that way. That's projectile info. Who's a reset attempt? Oh, get scooped. Oh my god. Come on, guy hit by the He's same projectile. They're doing nothing. Amron focusing too hard on the projectiles right now, and not enough on love. When Java gets on the board. Yeah, Java got one on the board. Not due to CC, due to absolute skill, talent, and um, TFH. Definitely some Dems fighting herds being played. Some Dems fighting herds, brother. Play CC with absolutely nothing. No more CC in exchange. Everyone gets one button DPS. That sounds. <laughs> Dude, that sounds hype, actually. Let's make TFH five button fighter and just have the DP button. Get <laughs> the DP. Why did that CC hit you? Don't worry about it, Java Morris. I I'm definitely not worried about it. <laughs> There's no need to CC. <laughs> just block. Do you just block the CC the to be honest? I don't know what you guys are on. Look alive. Of course. Round one. Like honestly, Fight. Java Morris can use 5A, hit the last frame of 5A, and literally block the CC. That's crazy. <laughs> that, no, that's, that's crazy. <laughs> Oh. Okay, uh, Java's just getting hit a lot by some interesting things, to say the least. Same trade. <laughs> just saw earlier. <laughs> oh. Dude, what the fuck is, what going, is on? going on? Play the fucking video game right! They're playing footsies. They're playing footsies. Java is losing his mind. Oh no. Holy fucking shit, dude. Oh my god. Okay, finally getting the JA he wanted. Finally like, not getting a trade there. Yeah, that whiff. <laughs> shit, dude. Oh my god. You know, okay, so only Ender's 5A is in fact 5 frames. And you know, Shanty's 5A is not the longest. So yeah. you can't really combat that. It's definitely good on the throw attack is that Oleander, I think, after a throw attack has uh, one of the best buttons for contesting the fire right there. So apparently, yeah. I think Palm is a bit better because he be just so nuts, but... Yeah, yeah nice routing. Just no match for me. Yeah. Very nice routing, Emeron. Emeron. Taking it. Emeron taking the whole game, the whole fucking tournament, dude. We'll play. Yeah, I, the whole yeah. fucking tournament. <laughs> Java Morris, yeah. CC fan. CC me as Oh, wait, wait, I know the exact response to this. CC well played. Mm. <laughs> CC well played, baby. But up next, we're actually going to head back into losers, and we're going to have Zale versus False God. 
Losers, semis, bam 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 bam. Zell versus False God. Patrick. Patrick. Game. Zell, Emeron. Bars. Oh my God. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know if CC is more cringe than Melty Shield. Round one. <laughs> yeah, Melty Shield kind of. Melty Shield kind of. That's some dirt. Like nice they're both the round kind of dirt. Nice. Oh damn! Present. That was a. <laughs> Dude, Paprika's five C on block. Like. <laughs> that's the rule. The ID right matter. Let's go, fall. Oh, the gift going away when it blocks is a bit unfortunate, but... Yeah, it be what it be. I understand why. Be what it be. Yeah, it be what it be. You know what? I think Pat needs that. Gifts are... Uh, work like projectiles instead of nonsense. Mm -hmm. Nice. Zell just playing keep away. That's all you really need to do in this matchup. Just like, literally... Yeah, well, it's hard it's to also do that. getting a lot of mileage out of these five Gs. Oh, I don't think that was an IB. I don't, I don't think that was an IB. It might have not chilled the accolade. It, Zale definitely flashed there, but I'm not sure he had the hit. But either way, he gets the call out. He gets the match. Wins the round. Wins the round. That's all that matters. Fight. Nice! That's one good thing about Perfecta 5B. Just being able to, like, literally punish almost anything only Ender can do at tip or range. Good button. Yeah, very good button. Just like Cartsy, it's a very interesting <laughs> button. Cartsy <laughs> one is a good button. <laughs> uh, False does not go for when chose a roll for some reason. Maybe he was trying to do a roll. Uh, no, I wouldn't pass. CC, CC. CC, baby. Oh, that's pretty, boy. That's right. That isn't in fact that Will's uh, got to not get hit. Not get CC. Not get hit by what? <laughs> Don't say CC, it's a slur. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Going for a throw bear right there. Oh, oh wow, nice. That, that was, that was a very so Zale is, still has a bar, but definitely losing the Fred round kind of hurts. Absolutely, like losing any Fred round very, very much hurts for Oleander. <laughs> okay. Aw, oh, Zell is not absolute garden Diza. 2A, 2A, so you know, free card sees. I'm trying to cross Oh, this is a bad spot for Paprika. Never mind, you got CC. It out, got CC. <laughs> <laughs> CC got Pap's back. CC got my back. <laughs> oh, that oh. is a really unfortunate one. Big, big, big Yikes. Paul's got taken. Game of one. Paprika wins. <laughs> Don't ever say that slur in chat again. I censored that and everything. No. <laughs> IB's everywhere. <sighs> IB in your girl's DM. <laughs> 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 Here we got go. me. CC got me. <laughs> That's damn right, baby. <laughs> CC does it all. Washes my dishes, wins me games, pays my tuition. Well, I like her. Gets me back into this game. Here we go. Game two. Um, Whoever is running stream, swap the names. What's up? Swap the names, like sides. What? Why are you guys moving? No, that's not that. Yeah, 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 No, no, no. Dude, what? I had Sorry, I'm working game. over you, K9, my... <laughs> what do you do? Dude, you know what? You know what? You got that shit, gamer. The you know what? C. All I'm gonna say... The funny reset. What if it wasn't Telly C? It was Telly CC. Yo, 
that, that's the new like, hat move right there. Absolutely. Two buttons, half a bar, and you just uh, wake up Telly. Oh, that throw the is telly cool. The Telly throw. Dude, both done. Zale doing those teleports with like a trap around, it's a really overwhelming situation. It, oh, but the call is. out. False is Jealousy. doing some funny tally scenes, but they're working out. They are in fact working. Abba D Abba die. I'm Round two. I'm all the sadness that I'm seeing on screen. <laughs> cool. Think fast. Nice. Trade? One thing you like never want to do is like full jump at Oleander. That's the freest anti air and freest start to her pressure. Oh, you got pushed. Can't 2 a. Can't 2A, got a 5B there. Zale doesn't go for Fred. Maybe he will on this one. Maybe he's just focusing on Maybe just like winning. He's, he's, he's playing for round 3. Yeah. It's fine because False God is kind of like making the mistakes for him, so like he doesn't even need to push Fred right now. Yo, oh. that was. I guess the mix. I guess. The mix. I, I guess. This matchup is six four pat favor to Zamron. Uh oh. Yo, yo, agreed. Amron's right. I didn't know about that. I didn't know about that. Okay. This matchup's fucking uh, very very good. For Oleander, of course. Because Oleander oh, got yeah. hit in. Unwinnable. Unwinnable. No, the only thing worse is Paul Oleander. Hey, Nice. False God just not getting a uh, freaking uh, throw baited in my brain. False God super jumping through the tracks. Nice. Gotta do with this mix. The mix. The mix. You credit. That one. That, uh, it oh, it will be. Yeah, bad, right? yeah Big Freddy Boy is still there. Activity, living spice. Zell getting one on the board. I'm gonna trust Java is gonna update this because you know Java Morris, he would never. I don't not be present. Java yeah, I see. Oh, 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 oh. Zell got negative one. Yo, let's go. That's Zell. what happens. Zell mess with CC Zell. Technically, that means False God just needs to win one more in order to win, because, you know, best of five. You know. Yeah, that's right, because if you, if you got negative one, you can't possibly get three rounds. You like can't that, yeah. if you think about it. If you think about it. <laughs> but here we go. False God making some questionable decisions towards the end, but let's see if he can clean it up this time. Of course. Round one. Fight! <laughs> what? Yo, the throw! Paprika throw is good, but you know, maybe not use like. <laughs> <laughs> it worked there. It builds path a lot of meter. That's something. It does. Good. That's the one good thing about it. Just Paprika combo. Paprika setups I actually like. They do like. If it feels like it does so little, but then you like cash out, and then you're just like, wow, I'm at like half health, or I'm at like, uh, like I'm just dead right here. I mean, it does so little, considering that app just does so much in general. Like, doing so. <laughs> that was. The OTG. I can't, dude. <laughs> Fight. This is, uh, this is some fine to your fate, babe. I'm not crying. We're crying. Corrode. Corrode. Corrosive. Very nice frame check on that one, Zale. Zale's got the guard. Absolutely. He was just playing around False God right oh, there. That was. Uh, oh, Ooh, if he would have done that. Calling out the two, two, two. Yeah. If he did that earlier, it would have actually been saved. That was a neat double jump. Yeah. Absolutely. And this I think is... Zell's gonna spin. Mm. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. 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 I think he just wants this round. He wants this, like, get back into the game, you know what I'm saying? Get yeah, that definitely lead. Get that. Final round. Fight. Because definitely, like, at this um, meter percentage or whatever, like that meter. Yeah, uh, he's still gonna get another Fred this round. Yeah. Very, very good. Just decision. not, like, right now. Yeah. 
You just have to play around. Even if he gets hit, he definitely has red. I don't know uh, what's going on. False, false. I know about that one. Like, curtsy. I don't know, it's like never an answer against projectiles in my opinion, but if you can make it work, well, let me yeah, see. Maybe, it. you know, hit the trap and then you uh, probably see afterwards and die, you know? Yeah, baby! Fail is now up two games. Yeah, false, I'm not gonna lie, you do, you did kinda, yeah, you did kinda make some plays. <laughs> false, you know, you know we gaming, we gaming. Yeah, he gave him. Probably running a little bit out of steam. He thought way too much Wait, about- Wait, that, that was it. Yeah, that wasn't it. Oh, yeah, 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 you yeah. Are so This isn't right. Loser's Finals. You're right, you're right, you're right. Loser's Finals is hey, job over. False. Fail. Top gang, top four. Let's go. Top gang. Who's job? Yeah, it was, it was, it was plays were made, but you know. Gaming, gaming. Yeah, it's Java versus Zale now. Absolutely. In uh, Loser's Finals. <gasps> Java's got to run the oil in the gauntlet. I got the hiccups in me. All right. Bars. A drinking game for everyone <laughs> in chat of age. If you're not of age, you can drink orange juice. Because if you drink enough, it will hurt. Um, <laughs> That's facts. <laughs> every time someone does CC and it works, take a shot. Of orange oh, juice. Of orange juice. Delicious orange juice. Oh, boy. Orange juice. To be honest, soul. you hate soul. What yeah, the soul fuck? It's orange juice. How can you? How can you say I what the hell, soul? This. You will not Dude, this is a stage I actually Molly never wanted to return. Like, yeah, <laughs> classic Dale going back. You know, waterfall meant that you didn't see this much as often, Seriously? but. Zale has to make it make a return. Oh I can't believe it. Zale is doing Loser's Finals. The first TFH tournament back after a long break. He wants to go to training stage. Okay. Absolutely, dude. Imagine, like, we get a big stage at Frosty's, and then someone picks training stage. <laughs> someone, like, I cannot believe it. But very nice back down. So, like, that's one thing you can do in that situation, but you have to IB the JB. Oh, nice block. Nice Ooh, that TV. Very, very good stuff right here. Java making a comeback. Missing the cart seat. Not the cart seat, the freaking uh, cartwheel. <laughs> oh, oh my god. god. Alright. Alright. Who needs comments? You can just do a good seat. I see you, Java. You, that, that, that was a good throw bait. Okay. I'll give him that. You know, you could have finished the combo out like a normal person, but you know, you have to go a little fun. Nice IVs. IVs. But not doing anything with it. Ooh. Dude, I learned that one from a... <laughs> from a person who shall not be named. If you don't in chase you, oh, no. oh, no. that can high profile some moves. They definitely can. It's a very... Even short top can. Wow, it's kind of sick, dude. It's pretty good. It's got that crazy hurt box. Mm, absolutely. It's crazy hurt box, dude. Crazy hurt box. Excuse me. Jumping kind of OP, but Zale. But Zale's. Well, that more. Looking control this round. Oh, I see. oh, but he missed the points too far away from the trap. I love how 60 is like sometimes oh, just slow enough to actually beat an absolute guard, you know? Yeah, definitely. Um, at the max range of 6C, there's Oyan. Alright, Zale. Does Oyan have a way to hit confirm other than like spend meter? Yeah, no, she has to spend magic and um, that's it. Magic or meter. Well, Zale tried to do a trap there and it didn't hit. It was too low range. It should have been a. the B trap. Uh, yeah, that's also, right like, one thing to know, because, like, at 6C, you have to kind of use different, like, traps, depending on, like, where it hits them. So that's good. Fred game. The Fred is ja me. Java is going for the approach of you have to hit Zale with some Hail Marys when Fred's out, and... And Fred is gone. Oh, Dawn. I mean, Java did lose a lot of health there. Uh, oh. Zale Classic, Tele V60, Unreactable, Unblockable.
God dang. That was, that was a meanie. But Zale is taking one game so far out of this best of five. This one's best of five. This okay. one is definitely best of five. I opened up Audacity. The audacity of me. Fuck you. <laughs> Bum, 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 bum. Shanti versus Oleander on training stage is something I never want to see. It's so fucking cursed. Yeah, they're both playing kind of purplish characters. It's a bit cursed. It's very, very cursed. You know, they should play like on a Palm the <laughs> Night stage and pick like very dark blue colors. That'd be sexy. Fine, but let's make it quick. Slow works too. All right, we're off track. Let's go. Round one. God fucking bless. <laughs> Ooh, nice IB, but did not press in time. Like, even if it didn't IB that, he still would have line canceled. Got it. Ooh, only under 5A. You know, Emeron's Ooh, in nice. so I like to talk about only under 5A real quick. Ooh, the freaking Shanty 2B does not actually go under only under 5A. As far as... It never does? Yeah, it never does. Hmm. Okay. So just to let the people at home know, that Amaron is always wrong, and that you can always <laughs> never RPM. trust Amaron. No, yeah, never trust Amaron at all. Good block on the but not good enough for the two I have. Yeah, there's more after that. Nice, Zale trying to RPS. Dude, fucking, I've seen almost everybody in this game RPS on the wake up, and it's very, very TFA. Definitely something that is pretty strong. There's a lot of defensive options in TFA. There is, and you have to abuse them. At the end of the day, you have to abuse them, because, like, that's why I'm in the commentator chair, and that's why you guys are on, on the game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nine definitely never abuse them. <laughs> Hell, Bobby. I just press buttons and then I'm like, I'm life good. Press buttons, life good. Just like that. Jabba Morris right, get that clean 6A. Okay. Level 2? Yeah. Okay. Going for a reset. Bill <laughs> just does not want to deal with that. Let's go. <laughs> he said, no, nah, might as well. Because you're going to get hit for this much damage anyway. Might as well RPS. Girls calling out these these meaties are too slow. These meaties are meaty, you know. If we would have used JB, that actually would have beat him, you know. Beyond meaties. Free my boy Java. Java in front, yeah. Uh, and wasted meter and straight, not all wasted meter and then wasted a bit more with that <laughs> with that block there. Final round. Fight. Nice IBs. Ooh, very nice frame trap right there. I really, I very much like it. Okay. I kind of like what uh, Java's doing right now. He's just push blocking to get Zell into the corner. Although Zell does have one magic stock and kind of mashed out right there. Yeah, he did successfully get the lead in. Java didn't really get to do much about it. Yeah. Fit passively. Oh, he's recent. Ooh. Nice back. Dash. Very, very nice back dash. Yeah, but Jail has another Fred. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Are we gonna have a Oleander Gun Finals? We might have to. I believe in Java. Nah, Java's CCing. Java is. Die. Java just gonna go for another call out? Yeah. Nice. Zale's playing very patient. Oh my god, that oh, comes up. This could be a big turnaround for Java Morris. Yeah, I was saying Zale's playing patiently, waiting for Java to do some something crazy like a cutlass, but he still got hit by it. So. Oh, going for a reset. Oh, Ooh, the first block at the point. Now Java has to make his way in. Oh, jumping into that chapter oh, jump. Wow. Right, the press of button did not get a 2A, got a 5B instead. Zell's up two games. Yeah, Zell is up two games. Where's the CC? That's a good <laughs> question, Amaron. God damn it, Amaron. I really just have to CC, huh?
<laughs> well, you don't have to see. So you could take my route and be like, nah, I refuse to play in this dirt. I'm going to play solid as fuck and then lose. <laughs> I get hit by 60. Dude, I... Maybe, you know, mm, mm, in the feedback channel. <laughs> I hate saying that name, but in the mm. feedback channel, talking about Oleander's ass Microwave crack, maybe pond. they're right. <laughs> Microwave Pond, that's what I'm going to call him from now on. Mm. That, that's his like roll name right there. <laughs> I love that fucking name, dude. Fred, look alive. Of course. Give me the key. I'm going to mash it up. Round but yeah, one. nobody wants to see Oleander right. succeed in multiple yeah. ways. <laughs> Ooh, nice! Just getting oh, hit. What a reset! Yo! Oh, they uh, that was a little too greedy, Jabba Morris. Fool me once. Did a lot of damage to that Vortex, though. Like, they all yeah. got knocked off already. Yeah, absolutely not. Nice. Like, they do a lot. But the nice. thing is, like, uh, they're not, like, as potent as Arizona resets. Yeah. I don't know. Shanty resets. Uh, can't flop him as easily as Arizona JC usually. That's something. That is something. I will admit. But you know, flop is an interesting game. It is definitely an interesting fight. <laughs> oh, that fireball was interesting, but beating that uh, no cancel at uh, 6B, not 6B, 5C, oops. Java is trying to like no cancel no, out the CC call out. <laughs> CC doesn't work. CC actually isn't an anti. Oh, that was uh, an anti or CC. Very interesting. Oh, I'm not sure you can really contest Shanty in there. She's got that very fast jam. Yeah. Oh, very nice fuzzy and frame tap right there. Good stuff from Java Morris. Bringing him back into the back. corner. What? It, it always scares me so yeah, much because, like, the way Java does his combos, he, like, uh, purposely takes him out of the corner with the cutlass lead and then puts him back in. It's always scary because what if they just hop out? <laughs> I'm a friend on the other side. Still going for it? Yes, die. Die. Oh. <laughs> Very scary situation for both players. Got it. Nice. They're all not doing much with this, uh, Oli, uh, with this Fred right now. I feel like that Java is being more patient than he has been with Fred. Oh yeah, and it pays off. It's the mash. Very, very much. Stay down if you know what's good for One thing Zell wasn't doing. On the yeah, one on the board for Java Morris. One thing Zell wasn't doing too much in that situation was like getting magic and just like looping 2 2 B and uh 6 C a lot. Because like in that situation you have Fred, you have full control. And if they're playing that patient, literally, like they have to make a move. They have to guess this RPS. So, well, we get good. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. Get good, lol. Get good. GG stands for get good. <laughs> then I'm GG in everyone. Absolutely. Run back to Roa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, TFH too much for Java. He's got to play Melty. You gotta play Melty. He was gotta forced to play Melty Gold type. I'm here to take what's mine. Yeah. Ready? 2 1 right now on the board. Zell is in Zell's favor. And uh. Those Java are these. These. Yeah. Java looked a little clean this time around. I guess something woken in Java that, like, we cannot comprehend. I guess so. Inspiration win. I, that was a good time to mash, I guess. That was, that was a very awesome. Lots of stuff on the screen. Ooh, nice, getting hit by that fireball. Oh my god. Yeah. That would be a little too risky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was cool. Yeah. yeah. That's not the round. That, oh my god. All... Straight into the trap. So I think Java could have six aid to beat the trap right there, but it was a uh, it was kind of low, well, wasn't it? Yeah. Maybe. I think six aid would eh, maybe, maybe, it, maybe. It's definitely it's definitely a tough one to think of in the moment for sure. Yeah. Oh nice no, playing small but he's right here. And this is a space that like is very hard for Oleander because she has to kind of contest this spacing from Java Morris and like um and, um, very low jumping. Yeah, absolutely. 
You just slide that in? The long range 2B, that slide's so immaculate. Next block. Oh, oh damn. Java, please. Oh, good back after that. Yo, didn't CC. Okay, no. now I'm gonna get punished. No Fred? I'm just so content. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, Java's just not falling for the throw baits though. <laughs> Final round. Fight. <laughs> the patience, I love it. Oh no! The unblockable. Oh, I didn't call him The 6C again. Three reads. Very good block right there. Oh, the CC. Java. Just CC. That is the power of Fred right there. Absolutely. Oh, Don. Fred is also a character that can beat CC. I say Fred, not Oleander, but you know, Fred. <laughs> Dude, I'm actually furious because what's going to happen is they're going to look at that and say, well, well no, you can count play CC. See what happened right there. <laughs> look at that. With Fred out, you can totally. <laughs> I don't they actually know project. what was the last thing that hit me. Was it Fred or Zale? I, it was definitely Fred. It was Fred, okay, but Zale sense. blocked the CC, so he could have punched it. <laughs> I can't believe your CC got counterplayed. <laughs> Cannot believe it. Holy lord. Emeron is being a character. Alright. The Oleander Mirror. Truly. The Oleander Mirror that we've all been waiting for, baby. I can't believe Oleander is so powerful that they have to have a bigger for her in Grand Finals. Which is so strong. Yo. And if y'all appreciate Oleander Double Grand Final CC Bonanza, go ahead and check out <laughs> our exclamation <laughs> point, Macharino. In the Twitch like chat, Mashery. go ahead, give these wonderful players money for free. It's actually, they make up the money. This is illegal. They're printing money on the website <laughs> as we speak. <laughs> Just click oh, on the little go. buttons on the side, whether it's, you know, claim the code, a little coupon code for doing nothing except clicking. I know all y'all got a mouse, because how else you get into Twitch.television? And, and if you want a phone, then you got a touch screen. <laughs> you got a, I don't know, that shit don't work. That shit don't work no more. That shit don't work. I got a DS. I got a DS. Damn you! You're a slow reader. We using You stylish. don't need to give us any money ever. You are poor. <laughs> Away. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, Lord. grand final. <laughs> grand finals, baby. We got Zell and Amaron ceasing their way to victory, ceasing their way into grand finals, and now they get to finally fight it out like the dogs they are. Yeah, I'm going to remember to channel point that. That's all. Need more power. Let's go. Spend that gamble. Absolutely. Going for some resets and just six. That's all you need to do. God bless Emron. I actually <laughs> I was trying to get out of that. I was tired of people getting hit by that shit. That was a 16 attempt right there. People are very, very interesting creatures. This is this is some this creature is a this is what you were saying. Very original. It's definitely you can detain the creatures with a low ping. Everyone's yeah, just creaturing it out anyway. Look at this! Y'all fucking quote unquote top players talking about, oh, <laughs> we play clean. We we don't play dirty. No. <laughs> and then you see it is. Emeron taking round one. About to get that game one, baby. Let's go. You playing solid. Shit, fail. Getting that good ass damage. Said nah, bro. I don't know what you mean. But Amron. The, the CC, baby. You yeah, already CC. know what's going on. That's all you gotta do. Oh, the 6C. Okay. Look at Amron. The number of unreacted 6Cs today. Dude, this is gonna be all 6C tournament. Very nice confirm from Amron right here. Gonna miss that JC. Very, very solid. Oh my god. Dude. Oh, that was a good throw. That, now, was, that was a very good throw. I'll give you that. Okay. Very good. See, Amaron knows when to tone, tone it down, you know. 
Oh, the oh, throw me. Okay. Did you get a throw? Nobody drops. Oh my god. Can you spend here? Honestly, I think I would. Because I kind of don't want to do up this. Yeah, he goes for it. Yeah, oh, no, he spends all the way. Yeah, and just have friend. Oh dude, my god. Oh, Emerald. shit, dude. Yeah, Emron's gonna waste as much fret time as possible, but actually. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that was pretty good. Emron! Okay, fine. Evo Champion! Evo Champion. That's Taking an Evo game Champion gameplay game right there, that's for sure. Absolutely insane. Putting one on the board. He's showing why he's in grand finals. Why'd you fucking put the loser thing in Zale? This isn't a reset yet. God damn it, what? Wait, 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 wait. Hold up, K9. Hold up, K9. <laughs> Which one of these players already lost a set? Nobody! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll yeah, see you in court. Yeah, yeah. oh they both my. get L's when it's a reset. <laughs> No! Well, they do, yes, but it ain't a reset yet. I have well, Evo Champion Amaro, because it's not a reset. Go get him, Molly. Cool. Ready? K9, I, I don't I don't know. Fight. Oh, no, dude. Yeah. Right, They're both winners in my heart. Yeah. Yeah. Dude. Dude. Good backdash color. Good backdash color. Five A beats back then. Very oh, nice. Five A. Two two D two slow. Yeah, I'm very surprised Emron even got that two two D out. He's been having trouble with it. <laughs> it's got a funny info. It's, it's got a funny. Oh, so, dude, Yo, you can beat no DC way. with a five A. I don't Yo, think they should confirmed. change it. He beat it. Look at it. Yeah, right there. they should not change that shit. That totally wasn't just a misplay on Amron's part. <laughs> Amron, he's Evo champion. He can't misplay. That's true, that's true. Yo, oh, nice block on the fuzzies. Yeah, that fuzzy was absolutely Ooh, not good at all. Oh, <laughs> but then the furry? The can't big furry. furries. <laughs> Got it. Nope. Oh, oh. No Playtime's over. Oh, that was almost sick. If you would have went into 6B, that would have been a confirm and that would have been solid. But you know what? Empty jump low. Works every time. Finally, now back to business. God, Amaron just looking so commanding. He really wants me to go home and fucking uh, shower so I can go to work. <laughs> or you could not shower and go to a Smash convention. Oh, baby, my favorite. Oh, the 6C. The offense. Oh, the defense right there. So good for Mamoru. Ouch. <laughs> oh. shit, dude. These people are playing so interesting. <laughs> that was a good JB. That was a very, very good JB. It was a late 60 from Amaro, but a good JB from Zale. Definitely, definitely. Final round. Fight. Zell. 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 I'm never Oh no. I'm gonna get the hit and guys right here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. oh. Going for Fred? Nah, you ain't going for Fred. He's not? No, he's cringe. He wants the CC. Oh my god. He wants the 6C. The 6C. The 6C. Amron, what are you doing? What? <laughs> Y'all, I don't know. That seems like CC counterplay, definitively. You're wrong. <laughs> You're All wrong. Saying. All I'm saying. I wanted C super? No, no. You only want CC. Otherwise, you're playing. You gotta really make me manage that, Zale. Who? Everon getting another one on the board, as Evo champions do. Evo champions don't drop a single set. I'm gonna CC my therapist. Same. Yeah. Boom. Got them apple bottom jeans. Always with the meter. With the meter. 
this negative edge is super sweaty. <laughs> what magic is this? God, it's you're so sweaty, Zell. Such a tryhard. Round one. Fight. Watch the... Alright, gaming. Gaming. The Umbra, dude. The Umbra. Oh my god, getting throw baited. Nice, letting that 6C rock, like, you can actually jab almost at any moment if they know it's a 6C, like, it's very negative. T2D from Emerald. Oh! Let's I'm surprised. I was very surprised he couldn't block right there, he might have went for another one. I think that's what happened, yeah. Ooh, what the fuck? The 6C. Big claim in the third. Future mm. contain. <laughs> nice. Zell winning that exchange on a sliver of health. Zell has to play very, very cleanly right now. Like, he does not have time for this distance. Oh, Woo! throw it. Nice stuff. Honestly, if I was Zell, I kind of go for Fred if you want to seal this round one. What? A minor set. Oh my god. The <laughs> way the confident 2 2 D. What do you mean you can't get reversal 2 2 D? Amron, you've been lying to us this yeah. whole time. Round two. Amron, only under down player. All you do is downplay Amron. I mean, to downplay only <laughs> Amron. Ash, I was throw. The CC. Oh, I tried to TTD. See, that's what happened. That's what should have happened to Amber. Right Dude, what the that fuck? That is a trade? Alright. I think if Emeron would have actually, like, uh, teched in place, he would have been able to go yeah, over the Emeron definitely is that. Okay. Oh, the mash the out. Mash. The mash. Yes. Zell having no choice but to go for Fred. Die. Getting mixed by TTD for some reason. I'm probably blocking the cross. Oh my god. What? What the fuck? What? Die. This is actually over. CC? Everyone's gonna like 2 2 D. Oh, never mind. Get a throw. Yeah, this is yeah. over. GG's Amron. This is Takes it. GG's. Yeah, yeah. this was a. There's a universal mechanic that discourages any. I don't know what you're talking about, Joe. This was a very. Intelligent grand finals, a very intelligent training overall. Y'all better look out for Dead Apostle and Noel 3.0. Insider information. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're um, running Dan to TFH. Despite some funnies uh, here and there and everywhere, Loki, um, <laughs> that was a very fun tournament. Very cool tournament. Very glad everyone participated. And also, like, dude. We haven't done this in such a long time, but let's just go to the in lobby view right here. We are we have eighty dollars for like for just just a little, little horse tournament. Who even right? Who even know what knows what a horse is, dude? That's dude, awesome. Like, if you really want money, you should enter the horse the horse tournaments. I'm telling the you, dude. Tournament, cause we're all fucking dying in here. <laughs> oh my oh, no horse. <laughs> <laughs> hey, horse. But yeah, um, Heike, thanks everyone for uh, playing. It was like, I mean, honestly, it's it's so heartwarming to just see how even after like such a you know decently long break because of holidays, tournaments, all that stuff, uh, we still have this much support and love from the community. And for those of y'all who aren't aware, you know, just keep an eye out for Frosty Fastings. There might be an announcement there. Who knows? It's, that's just the word around town. I haven't been told anything personally because they don't trust me reasonably so. So. Uh, thanks everyone for watching. Thanks everyone for playing and donating and doing all that wonderful shit. I appreciate all y'all. If uh, any of y'all are interested in Melty Blood Type Lumina, we are running a tournament for that tomorrow. Details for that are in the Discord. Now, you might be wondering, where's the Discord? Well, if I type exclamation point Discord in chat, you can go ahead, click on the Discord, and join the community for any future events, because now that we're back off of holidays and all that, outside of, you know, any holidays that might happen to land on a Thursday or a Friday, uh, we're back on a weekly schedule now, so look forward to more tournaments. We're definitely still doing TFH, 
Melty Blood. We might be alternating Melty Blood and Blaze Blue on Fridays or doing something like that, but I haven't like fully confirmed that. But because you know, there's like a ton of Blaze Blue tournaments on right now. But either way, you know, I'm just trying to support <laughs> FD Gen CC. Oh no, <laughs> FD Gen CC. But um, yeah, thanks everyone for watching and supporting, and I hope to see y'all next time. Have a good one.